but I did see, I don't know if you saw Tyler started his whole, uh, or announced his fragrance. Yes, I did see that. Um, and I was like, man, you know, cause I'm not really like a big cologne guy. I'm not a big cologne guy, but I'm like, you know what? I'm getting up to a big age. <laughs> You're you know? a big boy now. Uh, I'm a big boy now. So maybe it's time to be in my cologne era. You know, I was like, maybe Tyler, maybe that's a, maybe that's, that's the how one? I start. I saw the price and I was like, <laughs> how much is no it? Way. I didn't even look into it. What? Oh no, it's bad, dude. Uh, I just went on the account. I'm assuming it's this one. Yep. 100 mil, 50 mil, 10 mil. Available December yep. 13th. And then go to the next, the next one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Holy fuck. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> 10 mil for 40 bucks is really not bad. That's this thing though, right? Yeah. I'm assuming yeah. that's 10 mil. That's a bit steep, bro. For that little tiny thing, 40? Yeah, Come that's on. that's steep. And then the next the next this size is, the 50, is 150. That's 150. Fuck that, dude. Is that even does that even check someone out? Someone was like someone was like Oh, uh, that does check out math wise, huh? Someone was like um this like costs more than Chanel fragrances. I was like, Jesus. He also had a whole rant, not rant, but he just had a whole like tweet he put out and was like, this isn't golf wang, like I'm not that's not really my style anymore. Da, da, da. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. I'm not catering to you. Broke ass bitch. Pretty much. He was like, I don't make stuff for you all anymore. You don't have money? Sucks. He's taking the Frank Ocean route, you know? Fuck, man. It's exhausting. Some of us are poor, okay? We are. And, you know, I'm only willing to dish out that much for one artist, you know? Like, Frank, it gets the, he's got the expensive. He gets my expensive stuff. I can't afford to, to have that for two artists. Hello and welcome back to the Needle and Lens podcast, the only show that threads together music, movies, and TV. I'm your host, Kevin, with my co-host, Noah. What is up, everyone? How are we doing today? Um, you said everyone, but I assume you just met. I'm me. I am talking to everyone, and I'm waiting for uh, their answer first. Noah, you're being okay. Okay, wait, fucking no, rude what, right now. What? God, go on. What What are they saying? I don't know. I don't yeah, know. it's like exactly. it's it's like a uh, door of the explorer call and response. Oh, that's how it is. Yeah, exactly. So they're answering right now. Good. For they are. They're actively answering at the screen or in the comments. And you're by like, the way. wow. I'm happy you're doing well today. Wow. And they're like, no, I'm actually very sad. My dad just died. Um, my car got totaled and um, such and such else. How exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to talk to you again tomorrow. Um, I'm doing fine. No, that's, I'm doing that's fine. good to hear. We're, we're good here. We're doing, we're doing fine. Obviously. Like As we, we usually said. are. Exactly. But um, it's, a, it's another week. We're getting... Getting closer to the end of the year and our uh, our season finale, I guess it's supposed yes. it is. Next yes. week will be the last episode of 2021. <laughs> Very excited for that. That's We've got the last episode of Needle and the Lens. It's done. It's ever. done after yeah, that. Yeah, we're done. That's... We quit. We're phoning it now. That's but, the um, No, next week's the last episode of 2021. Very exciting. And then we'll be back after the new year. Um. I don't know. I haven't decided exactly what day we'll be coming back, but we're that's figuring a, it out. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it's that. Probably out. not going to be Wednesday. Yeah, no, we're we're looking at some stuff, like logistically speaking, and we might we might be be uh, streaming it on different days, but um, release day is also tentative as well. I'm not sure mm. oh, what we're gonna do on that as well. I would probably just do Monday Monday record, Wednesday release. You know, that kind of just makes the most sense. Time will tell. Time will indeed tell. We'll we'll find out what ends up happening, but that is that. Like so, just be ready for next week. Shit's gonna be fucking exciting. Probably, we'll see. <laughs> it'll be exciting. It'll be because... exciting. No, no, no. We just we have a lot of work to do for that. Is all. And it'll be good. It'll be no, good. It'll be it'll be a good time. Um, but as for today, yes, as for today. 
like we said, we're getting closer towards the end of the year. And with the end of the year comes everyone's favorite time. Top 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 lists. I Those just are say year endless, but you yeah. know, that, yeah, that too. Listen, I forgot the word, okay? All right. Don't, okay. don't give me a hard time. But year end list, right. it's year end list month. Um, all the year end lists are coming out and from all different publications. Um, to be fair, we probably should talk about some movie year end lists. Although, what we have right now is we have a, a bunch of album year end lists from a couple different publications that we're going to talk about. Yeah. And we're going to you know, go I... over them and see. I will say the issue with movie year endless is that a lot of the movies on year endless are like movies that are coming out in award season, which is right now. And a lot of those movies still haven't had wide releases. Right. So like they're just movies that like critics have seen early or are only showing in like New York and LA right now. Like everyone's talking about licorice pizza, which is like not out here people talking about west side story it's not out you know like it's well it's wait is west side story uh, come out last week comes no out this week. no there was a there was an early screener this week uh that yeah, comes out at the end of this week. too but yeah i think it does come out uh Friday. yeah but it's like uh, i can't say a whole lot about movie year endless yet because yes. i have not seen all the movies but the That's albums true. at least yeah, i probably haven't heard, heard all these albums we've but heard everything no, we haven't. We've heard every single album here. Ever in um, existence. But I'm interested to see at least this first one from Time Magazine. Very yes. reputable. Very um, well-known, magazine. respected publication. Yeah. They did. It, they kept it short and sweet, so we're going to start with them. Top 10. They did. Although, if you're going to do a top 10, don't preview six of them. Yeah, you're, the you're top. 60% of them You've already. You've given away over half. Of the list. Yeah, that's that's what was the dumb. logic there? That's kind of dumb. Yeah. Whatever. But, We're just hey. gonna dive right in. Yeah, let's let's just jump straight into it. Going number 10, Ooh. Hotels, Jasmine Sullivan. That's nice. I like you know, that. Honestly, having having like gone that. back to that one more, I am very happy about that. That was a very respectable pick. Although it's an EP technically. Bro, we I feel like we literally had this conversation at the start of the year. We did. We did. When this it's, came out. And I said, it is an album. And you were like, it's an EP. And I was like, shut up. <laughs> this is an album. Listen. And it's a great album. L- listen, spoiler. I'm counting it as an EP. No, no, no. Here's why. Because I, I, uh, I want, I want uh, to give it recognition. And I don't know if I can. Oh, if it's I not good enough. Album. It's not good enough for an album. No, list. I just listened to saying? fucking okay, no, so many fine. albums. You fucking asshole. I listen to so no. many albums. I don't know. Jasmine if I... Sullivan is not good enough for Kevin's album of the year list. Y'all heard it here first. Oh, shut up. No, that's <laughs> not the case. Anyway, fantastic start to the list. Happy yes. to see where they go from here. All Love right, good project. Album. Loved it. Yes, the Gosh. fucking what's the one with Anderson Pack? That's a fucking great one. The one with Ari oh, Lennox. Um, that's a great one. Yeah, on it. Uh, yeah, on it uh, so good. The one with so good. I really love the other side. That's the one that I had mm, on repeat this year. Oh, uh, what's so. the? But don't have too much fun without me. What's that one? <laughs> yeah, no. Listen. All right, don't fucking. <laughs> don't come for me and my singing, Wee! all right? Listen, I try, okay? I try here. Don't come for me and my singing. That was, I appreciate your vulnerability. Um, but wow. That was a lot. Good. Noah, Noah's, Noah's going to be my 13th reason, I swear to God. I very well may. <laughs> In a video game. I very well may. But yeah, happy Jasmine's here. I think this album, what I also love about this album is that the interludes are so dope like i would listen to the interludes too like if i'm listening to the album because they're so great and i rarely just like uh ties together the hotels narrative of all these quote-unquote hotels and they're so. so interesting to listen to and i love it great front to back yeah 10 spot sure 
for sure. Top 10. Yeah. Yeah. Valid. All right. Moving right along. Navy's reprise, Navy Blue. I cannot wow. say that I'm familiar with this one, though. I actually really? did not get I'm to surprised. This one. Yeah. Just because you listen. To, I, I mean, I also haven't heard it, but I know, uh, I know of Navy Blue, but I. Um, yeah. I feel like I. He has a song with Earl, I want to say. Yes. Yes. I believe that's correct. That does sound right. Yeah. But yeah, no, I did not manage to get to this one. So, and that, that's the one thing with a lot of these lists is because I feel like a lot of them are going to have projects that either both of us or one of us haven't heard. Oh, without a doubt. So, I mean, especially Noah, because, you know. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. But I wish we had had this podcast last year. Oh, yeah. Because no, now cause... everyone is only seeing this side of me, but it's fine. Yeah. Noah, Noah, was, Noah was hardcore last year. Although I still think I, I and all the years out, previous, I still think I outclassed you in terms of how many projects I listened to last year. What? I listened to over. Eight, how many did you listen to? Did you? Did I you didn't count, count how, many? how many I listened to. I was I at like seventy five or eighty. Because you're a you're like a statistics nut. Like you, I just love stats. You do, and I just don't go that wild for them like that. Like I, I got. I mean. Them. They're cool, you know, but at least like for how many albums I was doing, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. Um, I still firmly believe I probably did listen to more than you last year. But I doubt it. Listen, that's but what I'm saying. I am going to have to check out this Navy Blue album. Yes, definitely sure starting to add some stuff, picking off these lists, stuff that I need to catch up on before the end of the year. And or at the beginning of next year, you know, whatever it comes down to. But right. we'll definitely give this one a shot. And same thing with number eight, Hands mm. of Time by Weedy Bram. Wow, okay. Nice. I misclick. Nice. There we go. We're back. There we go. Nice. This one, another yeah. one that I have not, not heard. Not familiar. Yeah. Not familiar. West but drumming. hip-hop, yeah. funk, and jazz and fusion. You got me. I'm with it. Yeah, I'm I was gonna say it. you got me there. I'm down I'm with it. Willing to oh, it's got shot. trombone shardy too. Nice. Okay. Mm. That's cool. Oh wait. Cool. Yeah, shelf for solos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm done. Nice. I'm down with it. I'll I'll do it. Yeah. I'll give this one a listen for sure. And yeah. We'll go for it. We'll go, go for, for it. it. Moving right along. Number seven is Donda by Kanye West. Obviously, very well respected project um definitely top 10 10? i don't know about that definitely but it's it's what's i guess the opposite of grown is shrunk on me (laughs) it's shrunk on me since release i definitely enjoyed it a lot more when it first released but i don't know i will say this i feel like if another rapper had put out Donda, it would not be. And I guess maybe you could argue another rapper couldn't put out Donda. Whatever. I just feel yeah. like if it wasn't Kanye, it would not be here. It's a good album. That's, it's a good that's album. Fair. It's not top 10 of the year to me. I mm-hmm. think there are some really great, there are, so there are some phenomenal tracks, which exactly. I mean, we talked about when we talked about Donda before. We were like, there are some, there, there are very tracks on there that high I'm like, highs. I'm about to cry. Like, there are some exactly, great tracks no. on there. But uh, one, the album is extremely bloated. It's extremely yeah. bloated. Some of these tracks just go on way too long. It doesn't have Kanye at his best lyrically. Mm. Um, and not that every Kanye album has to be like, I mean, I, we're never going to see him, you know, reach that peak again. But even when I look at his last stuff, like lyrically on Kids See Ghosts, like I think he was saying a lot, but there was a lot more, um, substance there for me (laughs) um and i think he was rapping better on there um but yeah i mean it's not a bad album it's a good album i don't it's not touching a top 10 for me personally i'll i'll say i can understand why people have it in their list because it's showing up in a lot of people's lists and i understand why just from the standpoint inevitable for kanye yeah well I think my thing is I understand why because I'm pretty sure there's not nearly <laughs> that many people that have listened to 
the same amount of music that we have this year. I mean, that's true. So, Especially I mean, this crack in, yeah, this crack in a top 10, I can see why people have it on there. Yeah. Um, I'm not mad at the pick for, for time. I mean, maybe I'm a little bit like, eh, but like right. for a regular person, I, I'm sure. not, I'm not going to scoff at that idea. Yeah. No, no, no. If like for, for, you know, yeah. For the average music listener. Exactly. Sure. This is, but it, my thing is just like, thing. listen to how many albums this year and Donda was your favorite. Obviously music is subjective, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But Donda. Yeah, no. And that's the thing. Like we keep, we keep looking at these lists, like especially on Twitter where it's like, oh, what's the best hip hop album this year? And it's right. like Cole, Tyler, Kanye, or fucking Drake. Drake. And I'm like, what it's like is this all y'all know is this all you know yeah it's fucking it's it's fine it's tough shit but you know it's tough but it's kanye i understand i think it's also very this was like a return to form in some ways just after jesus is king so i think it was you know there i also think it's and it's bloated too bloated for me in terms of its features too i think it's just there's too many features, and I don't think there's enough time for Kanye himself to shine. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I do think, like, I can kind of respect that in a sense. Like, if I think about this less as, like, mm. this is a Kanye solo album and more like a Kanye curated album. I can definitely sense. see that, too. Because yeah. that's, like, because you can see that a lot in, like, like West Side Gun, similarly. Right, it, right. With the Hitler Wears or Maze, the yeah. eight side A and B. Yeah. So... Yeah, I can kind of like see that kind of angle at it, but also mm. just throwing in the deluxe and all the patch notes. It's just like oh, yeah. the deluxe is and way too he, much, and he fucked up the track list on there. Also, as you well. got you got the baby, and you got Marilyn Manson. Yeah, album. that's like it's. I mean, you're it, not touching my list, buddy. It's always it's always jail part one for me, obviously. But I don't even like jail like that. Kind of really, I it's cool. I, I think I it's think it's too cool. long for me. That's not, that's one of those tracks. And that's that's true. It's definitely not one that I have returned to all that much. Definitely yeah. for me, it's like keep my spirit alive and mm. hurricane, and come that's to life. Pr- yeah, come to life. Um, and of course, no now child life left behind. Life. Yeah, now life the party, absolutely. But yeah, those are like the ones that I'm mostly going back to. As far as album rollouts, though, top five this year. Oh yeah, top no, three. fantastic. Probably top two this year. Fantastic, fantastic rollout. But moving straight along, number six, the Marfa tapes. All right, please just let me scroll without spoiling the the next one. I know. Miranda Lambert, Jack Ingram, John Randall. I don't, I don't listen to. It's gonna be a pass for me. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard pass. (laughs) I don't have much to comment about this spot, but you know, go on, Miranda. Go for it, I guess. At least it's not fucking Lady Antebellum. God, That's they're just funny. Lady A now. Well, no, I refuse to call them that because there's another artist who uh, she had oh, already been right. making I remember that. a name for herself as that Lady A. And fucking Lady Racism shoot, fucking sued her. Like, no, fuck them. They're fucking uh, terrible. Yeah. They're fucking dog shit. So, yeah, they will forever just be Lady Racism. That's it. That's the tweet. Works but for me. listen, if... That fucking whatever, I guess. I'm not I'm not a huge country person. I did nope. give the uh the what's it called? Um Golden Hour. Fuck, what's her name? I am so Casey bad. Casey Musgraves. Okay, I did give that Casey Musgraves project a chance this year though. I did give that one. That was fun. That was fun. Uh, but yeah. yeah, moving straight along. Number five, That's still over it. Summer Walker. Um, I wasn't huge on this. I I I, I wasn't feeling it. I'm not a huge summer, I, summer Walker person, regardless. I but. am, or I was, a big Summer Walker person. I have not listened to this album because I have yeah. a feeling that I'm going to like it very much. I feel like we had this conversation recently. We did. I think we talked about this. Although I will, I never gave Over It a chance, so I might mm. go to that one and give that one a shot. Over It has has some good ones on there. It really does have some good ones. On yeah, there. I might give that one a shot, but I was not feeling still Over It. All right, I I might give it. A, I'm I'm probably gonna give it a try for the years out. Or, yeah, I mean, so, maybe but, I'll go back to it. But yeah, I just I I wasn't feeling it. Yeah, she's just 
Summer Walker is just kind of a mess, and I mean, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a I, whole different story. <laughs> yeah, that's just the main reason I was like, I don't want to listen to this because I feel like I'm really gonna like it. And then, like, what if Summer Walker pops up on my like Spotify rap or something? Like, we just have to. Yeah. No, I. You we know have what? To be I'm proactive fucking, about these things. You know what I'm mad about? I should have mm. never listened to the project. I went. I was checking my Spotify stats of like the last four weeks. French Montana is up there for some reason, and I'm like, hey, man. why? Should have never gave that project a chance, and I contributed to his fucking 800 first week sales. Wow. Yeah, I know. Wow. I know. I'm, I'm draining that shit out. That's rough. That's real rough. And I feel like the only reason why it got up there at all is because, so like, long? between, well, yeah, it was so long, oh. and then, like, maybe the feature he had on... Plugs I'm at too because I actually don't uh, that's mind right. that one. That I was don't a good track. One. Exactly. So yeah, I, sometimes right. you gotta be careful with getting stuff on your stats, man. It's it's you do. <laughs> it's hard out here. The dangerous game. Yeah. But, uh, Moving on, number yeah, four, yeah. Blue Weekend, Wolf Alice. I thought this one was cool. Um, mm. top four mm. probably not, but I thought it was cool. I haven't cool. heard it. I haven't heard it. No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a decent project. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to no. say about on that. It's cool. Right. It's a pretty cool project. Good Moving along, number three to hell with it, Pink are. Panthers. That's 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 pretty valid. I'll give that one. Yeah, I mean, I'll say top short. three is very very generous. I love this album. Yeah, but top it's three is it's high. generous, but I mean, but who's gonna be, be mad at? Yeah, I was gonna say based on not this me. list, I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. It's a very, very cool, very dope yeah. project. I want yes, more. I, was just, I want more. Though. I was just listening to it um, the other day. Yeah, no, I, I, I really, those... I, it's a very nice breath of fresh air when, like, when I'm just shuffling music and some of her shit comes on. I'm just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm with it. I'm just with it. So good. Need so a, need a full so length next year. Yeah, well, this is technically falling. <laughs> this is a mixtape, okay? Yeah. And half of these were already out as singles. Yeah, so... that's that's the rough thing. When your project's under 20 minutes and you already released half also, of it. Also, apparently some of these have already been out. Even the ones that were new to us have already oh, been out. God. Like SoundCloud, whatever, but they're just like streaming now. So yeah. I don't even know how many of these are actually new songs. It's all just like all of them have been released and it's just fucking, Um, it's just putting it together. But 19 though, 19, that song is solid. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Moving on. Number two, Vince Staples, self-titled. Very nice. I know Noah's very happy about this one. Yes. That's actually why I, this is actually why I recommend that we do the time. (laughs) (laughs) We do the time magazine one. I hadn't seen the full list, but I saw Vince tweet that he was number two, and I was like, "Ah, oh, mm, yeah, got to do Time Magazine." Oh, there you go, Time Magazine. You are winners in my book because you're there on the nice list this year. This album is so underrated. This album is so underrated this year. You know, um, I feel like I feel like I haven't heard enough, like not about it. To say it's underrated, mm. but I think that's just mostly because you're always talking about it. I feel like I have, I, I haven't, you ha- enough people aren't talking about it. Enough I people guess. are not talking about it in general. I think people I'm aren't saying just, bad things about it, but people aren't saying anything about it. I feel like is, I've seen, a, I feel like I've seen a decent amount. I've, to I've me, like a personally, war- personally warranted amount, but hey. I have not seen enough. I would like to see more. I suppose. So good. It's so short and so Yeah, I was gonna say perfect. where's the where's the second one? We were supposed to get a second Vince project. We this were year. supposed to get a second one. Ramona Park broke my heart. Yeah. It was supposed to come out this year and it did not. And it was supposedly oh, already done. And it my did man. not come out. What happened? Where'd it come go? On, where's the album? So I don't know what happened. This one is very good. Kenny Beats and Vince Staples, match made in heaven. In um, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else there is to say. Vince is in his back once again. Very nice. Very nice. Took a while for it to hit for me. Well, not a while. Maybe two or two second listen. I was like, hmm. Third listen, I was like, oh yeah, mm. oh yeah, right. 
No, I, I definitely so. want to go back to this one before the year's over. There's a, there's a lot of projects I want to go back to yeah. before the year's over, but definitely I feel like this one is going to have grown on me a decent bit. But one of the tracks that I have been returning to a lot um, it's the one with uh, Fouché. Take me home. That's you yeah. know, that's a good one. It's the normie pick, but it's good. Yeah, I know it's the normie pick. Okay, fuck. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It is good. It but is. Yeah, good. I do know. I am aware that it's a normie pick. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. good. It's but nice. You know, it's, it's clean. It's good. Every it, that the, the fucking the string. It's nice. It's a great song. It's a great song. It's a great song. All great but songs. The number one pick number for one Time spots. Magazine is. It's gonna be something I don't know. What I already know. Yeah, I, yeah, know. What yeah, the fuck I knew it was gonna be something I didn't know. I was like, I don't know. I was like, I'm not gonna know this album. It's a duo with the 81 year old Arkansas free jazz saxophonist. Oh yeah, no. And a 35 year old British electronic producer. I don't know this. That Promises. sounds cool though. Pharaoh Sanders, Floating Points, and the London Symphony Orchestra. Yeah, what? I don't know. We don't know I, this one. I knew it. I just knew. <laughs> It's Time yeah. Magazine. Of course it was going to be something we didn't know. And you know what? That just makes me feel so much better that Vince Staples made it onto this list. Yeah, you know? I know, right? Of oh, fucking Time Magazine. They were like, yep, this is, this this is, is valid it. enough. And then it's like, here's our fucking weirdo pick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but maybe hey, I'll listen to it, though. Maybe. I was going to say, if it's number one for Time, then hey, it's probably pretty good, you know? Yeah. But then again, they also had that Miranda Lambert one on there. So, hey. Mm. Eh, yeah, you know. Here we go, though. It is what complex. It is, but yeah, complex, notorious, their... notorious shithole list. Uh, God. generator. Do you want to take any predictions on album of the year? Actually, no, I don't because I already, I've already seen it. Because mm. I, I clicked on the the link originally that showed their their top uh, already. So I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that it's either Tyler or Kanye. It's complex, so I know it's yeah. going to be somewhat of a normie pick. Um, we shall. Not that it, either of those albums are bad, but it's going to yeah. be Tyler or Kanye. And I'm going to guess it's Tyler because Kanye is on the front of this list. Yeah, that would be a bit. Oh, well. Oh, well, Ty- well. Shit on your ass, wrong. then. Yep. Let's, huh. well, who knows now? All right, yeah, it could be anything. Actually, it's prediction be... Doja's picture is actually larger than theirs, so I think it's hers. I'm going I'm going Tyler final answer. All right, let's <clears throat> let's let's get to it then. Number 50. Boo. <laughs> Boo. This was and terrible. You, know what? you know what I'm going to say about this album though is that in the right setting, it sounds good. Right? Like I heard it like, I listened to it just, like, you know, when it came out of my earbuds, whatever, whatever. I was like, this is not that good. Mm-hmm. I went to the barbershop. I heard it in the barbershop. I was like, this is, this kind of sounds nice. I feel like it's made for a very specific, like, Amigos make very, music. Yeah, they make at least now, very at least specific now, settings. For very specific settings. I'm not going to want to listen to this all the time. Maybe I want to listen to it in the car. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. With the right Certain people. songs. But yeah. it's like before they could make music that I want to listen to with the first culture. Oh yeah, no, come that's, on, that's still in rotation, front to for me. back, front to back. Absolutely. It was short, it was sweet. It couldn't have been more than what, like twelve tracks. Yeah, no, it was. It, it was, was good. pretty short. It was Maybe good, like and they just nine. fell off hard. Yeah, well, it's here's the thing: is like as years have gone by, like that's the game now. All the big albums are like twenty plus tracks. Yeah. And it's so annoying. And like when they're it. fucking damn near a movie's length long, a feature. There's only a film, certain amount of people like, that I'm willing to listen to yeah. albums that, that are that long. And it's like, you know, I think so. like CLB was that fucking long. This was that LB fucking long. long. Donda was that fucking long. Donda was too long. Yeah, exactly. God. And fucking, but dude, the right. deluxe is two hours long. It's so crazy. I didn't even bother with. I didn't even bother. I just picked up Life of the Party. I mean, I, Life of the Party, but that was the, the single version. I'm not listening to the album version anyway. Nah, I it's guess. It's censored. That. I guess. But yeah, no. The, it's, they're too long now. Yeah. Ugh! Can't. 
I can't. All right, help Culture it. Three shirt. Sure. Maybe maybe it does deserve the fifty spot. I don't know what's coming up next. Yeah, like, oh, you know they could have J Cole in the top spot. That would it's be complex. It's complex. That'd so nasty, I mean, like, yeah, of course they were gonna have this, but we got to move through this. We got fifty. Yeah, exactly. Let's J Balvin, Jose. I didn't listen to this one. I should have. I I I did not. I can't say that I'm a big J Balvin fan. Yeah, me. I, me not that much either, but. I am. I mean, I, I think I mentioned previously, um, definitely this next year, I'm going to make a larger effort to listen to non-English music as well. Mm, yeah, you didn't you did mention that. I did Which is a good that. thing to try and do. For yeah, sure. exactly. Like, I've been, I've been getting into, like, Japanese city pop a lot. Oh, really yeah, I remember nice. you were talking about that. Really nice vibes. But, uh, yeah, nice. definitely some more Spanish music. And cool. fuck it, all of them. Because I, I can, here's the thing, I feel like I can handle... Spanish music, like I could get enough of the context clues. Mm. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I could. Sometimes. I could survive. Sometimes, comparatively speaking, to depends on other depends on how they sing it and yeah. how fast they sing it. That, that is that's the big thing. How quickly? Because yeah, yeah. Sometimes with Rosalie, I just I just be vibing, man. Oh yeah, no, vibing. I no, I've been getting into some Rosalia though. She's, she's oh, nice. Good. She's nice. But uh, Meek Mill, ooh, Boo. yeah, no, this was, no, there was like maybe one track that I enjoyed on this. Like this, I can't, no. I can't really even. I'm just, I mean, album cover alone, I'm yeah. just, eh. I didn't. I feel even like Complex is struggling to pick shit now. If this I is like, guess so. These are fifty yeah. and forty eight. Like y'all, y'all maybe they're just like this is the, the bottom, bottom of, of the barrel. This is the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Um, I feel like that has yes, to be. No, it. I didn't. Yeah. I haven't even listened to it. And you know, I do Dumb. like Meek Mill, so I should give it a chance. But yeah, but has, this is not it from Meek Mill. He's he has seen much better days. Yeah, definitely has seen much better days. God. This is not it though. <laughs> definitely not it. Wild. Amina two point five. This is low. This is low. In that my is opinion. low. Based on what what's like here around here, this is that low. are going to be above this that are going to make me upset that. Yeah. And you know, I don't know if Mine would make my year in list. Also, I think if I if I do do a year in list this year, it's going to be short. Mm, so, I don't Pretty I short. don't know. If, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he would make mine, but only cuz I would keep it short. But this is a great project. It's yeah, really no. Project. I feel like I feel like he's going to make it to the lower end of mine as mm. well, but Comparatively speaking, versus like three hundred. Like you're plus not project. going to have Meek Mill and yeah, I'm not going to have Migos that on your yeah yeah. It's gonna he's gonna be among good company. <laughs> good good yeah. yeah, but I mean, happy it's on the list. That's cool. At least that they're showing him some love. So that's mm-hmm. nice to see. And this is, this is a really interesting project. Very it is very nice. Some love of it. his most interesting production. All right, forty wow. six. Wow, listen, that's not. Wow. Pink Panther Cell with that 46. That's wild. So we see over here, we see um, Time Magazine is like, this is the third best project of the yeah, year. Yeah, this is. And Complex was like, it's only slightly better than Meek <laughs> Mill. It's slightly yeah. better. It's only two steps higher than Meek Mill. Like, what? No. No. That's I, want, I want whatever they're smoking because I want to I wanna have that, that much lack of brain capacity because what the yeah, fuck? No. What they, the fuck? This is not it. This is not. Not Ooh. not good. Oh Lord. All right. All right. Pure born life pure what? look. Better than I will say it. I have heard a lot of great things about this project. Did not look. listen to it all the way through. Here's the thing. I have given it a chance. I've given Pierre a chance. As a um big Cardi fan. Right. You know, I feel like it's only it's only right. He just doesn't have the same. It just, it just as a rapper, he doesn't appeal to me. Right. I think he has, you know, really fun beats. Um, and I think he really excels as a producer. As a rapper, he leaves a little bit to be desired for me right. personally. I know he a lot of people really love him and love his sound, and you know that's great. And maybe this album will grow on me. I haven't heard it since I first heard it, but um, maybe I just got to give it another chance. I don't know, but. Yeah. yeah. No, I just like when it, cause it was at the but when it came out, it was at the very bottom of my playlist. Oh uh, yeah. And I was like, I'm so tired. I'm not gonna yeah. do this. 
and then I just never went back to it. Right. So I mean, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. Mm-hmm. I just I I might give it a shot, but definitely not. Maybe not above, not above. Not so above. With it, yeah. that's not. Come on, that's not okay. That's criminal. Yeah, Come exactly. Forty four. Boldy James and Alchemist Bo Jackson. Happy it's on here, but forty four. Yeah, that's less than that's ten close. steps higher than me goes. That's ah. Uh, Bad pick. Bad, bad take. pick. This bad is take. A, this is a, and look, this is not even one of my favorite Boldy projects. Like this is right. This is definitely. I don't even think this compares to anything he put out. Like, well, this compares and, to the the Versace you know, tape. But <laughs> you know, it's so interesting because everyone I feel like this year has just been like, this is bold, like the definitive Boldy James project. Like, I don't know, man. I'm it. still like, which is what maybe it's because this is a lot of people's introduction to him. I feel like it but, had to have been because, like, I don't know, maybe maybe this one was promoted a lot hotter with yeah, Alchemist right. than Price of Tea was. But, I mean, I was on that when it first came out. I mean, he out. was coming off of the Griselda. Yeah, um, signage. Signing and, like. And then what was the one he did with Sterling Tolls? I keep forgetting the title. Major McNichols. Yeah, that one. And, like, that one has grown on me so much harder. Like, I, yeah. I honestly kind of like it more than. Fucking price of tea sometimes. Uh, and it's sometimes, yeah, dude. Fucking mommy dearest Medusa. It's Yeah. I'll say so I'll say great. price of tea really grew on me this year. Oh yeah. Like no. it really grew on me. No, but this um, is a this is a very solid project still too. No, this one is definitely solid. He, it's I, not, it's you know, not I bad might, by any means. To be fair, I might I might put this above um what was real the one boldy? he did with a yeah, real bad boldy. I might put this one above it. But like I yeah, I mean like maybe. it's yeah. May, uh, I, yeah. I think I think when I'm comparing, you know, Boldy and Alchemist to what they did last year with Price of Tea, I think I prefer Price of Tea because I find the yeah. beats more interesting. Oh, yeah, no doubt. And not that Boldy is necessarily rap. Like, I, th- I feel like in terms of rapping ability, I can't say that he's just rapping so much better on Bo Jackson. Yeah, like, he's see more prominent better or anything. Though, on here. He definitely is, but I don't like, think it's so much better to me that I'm like, oh, this is yeah. leagues above. No, he's so th- he's in his bag in Main Draw McNichols, but yeah, like that's that's he's in his bag there, and the fucking instrumentals are fantastic. The yeah, price of tea, it's, it's just the really the, nice. the beats are just like mm. godlike. That's what's really the selling point about that project. Yeah. This one, I think I mean, the beats like are. I think the beats are more varied on that project too. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Like you get stuff like Caruth, and you get fucking scrape the bowl, and you get scrape fucking <clears throat> speed demon. Yeah, giant get, slide, uh, slow roll. Like slow come roll. on, like it's all yeah. over the place. Oh, what's the what's the gray Vince October? Staples yes. Oh my god, Surf that Inter- is so beautiful. Come on, yeah. Come that on. The, Alchemist did a lot better on that one, but I'll. You know, I'll go as far as to say as like bar for bar, I'd give Boldy on this one more. Yeah, yeah. But it's just the and you know what? I also beats. think he had to step it up because of the type of people that he had on this album. Oh yeah, no. Like I, granted, exactly. he had some crossover with features, but he had more features on this Absolutely, one. Absolutely, yeah. This um, was packed to the brim. So I feel like he was like, I, I gotta bring it. I gotta bring it. Yeah. So no, but like yeah. tracks like fake flowers. And fucking, mm, ah, I keep mm. forgetting what, what the other one is that I really loved off this project. Let me, I'm going to find it because I can't. I'm trying to. um Because yeah, Fake Flowers, that one I love. Oh, Brick Mountain, Montana. Oh, Illegal Search and Seizure. That's, yes. That one is solid. solid. Jenna, this is, <clears throat> this is really good. Not 44. It's so much higher. Yeah. So much sure. higher. I'll, or I was going to say, what? Complex. You're, you're smoking something. You're smoking they something are. here. Well, all right, all right. Look, hot take. I didn't like this Willow project. Willow, lately I feel everything at forty three. I didn't. I I didn't feel it. I did not. Feel I mean, it. hey, I I didn't actually get to it. I've I've not been as into Willow, um, post like her, post like I was really into her in high school, but yeah, I kind of just fell out um a little bit after that and haven't been as invested. But <clears throat> once she does a joint project with Jaden, I'm there. That that wouldn't work. That'll be a classic. That That'll wouldn't work. Classic. The music she's making now, that doesn't work. 
Bro, every Jaden and Willow collab is fire. Okay, but like she's doing fucking pop punk shit with she Travis does, Barker now. She's able to do so many genres. You think she's going to stick in this lane forever? No way. I guess no not. No way. I don't know, man. Because like she's part of that fucking, that wave that like Travis Barker is like, yeah, I'm just going to fucking put on yeah. all these pop punk artists of color and shit, which is dope, by the way. It is. Super happy. Yeah. Especially like with names like Kenny Hoopla getting recognition yeah, yeah. love to see it but, but I, don't, I think just something about I don't the mixing think on this one was mostly mm. this is a mixing gotcha because yeah it just fucking does not and it, a lot of people were saying like like her her studio versions compared to her mm. live versions mm. sound like shit Dang. like they are so like they're hollow they lack life and I can I can agree with that honestly because like especially that there's this one that was like really popular on the like, cut a vibe. That one sounds mm, yeah. good live, but the studio went, ah, it's just, eh, it's just not it. It's neutered. It does not, Woo, it has neutered. no life. Wow. Yeah. It's, but yeah, I did not really feel this project all the way through when I Man. came in. But I mean, some of the sounds on there are cool. It's just, I, it, I think a lot of it has to do with the way it's mastered. Gotcha. But yeah. You know what's wild? We're not even out of, the 40s yet we're not even out of the 40s and I, was I, I will say we... this is fair a fair placement for it comparatively speaking interesting on the list above Amine above Pink Panther well no 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 no, no. but like from if a pure you were going to make a 50 list <laughs> if I was going to make a 50 list and I had to put this on here yeah 43 I'd put it that's fine okay all right that's fine okay. also I was just thinking if we if we were to spend a minute Per thing, that would be almost an hour. Let's let's rock it then, because there's gonna be a lot of these that we we don't have. Once we that get much to the time. top, I feel like we'll have yeah it'll, yeah yeah. Ransom and Rome Streets, Coupe de Grace. I haven't heard this one, although I did hear another Rome Streets project this mm. year. I think he did a Death and the Magician that I thought was pretty good. So um, I think like I heard another Ransom project this year. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, but I mean, hey, Rome Streets is cool. Um, Doing his thing. We'll probably we'll probably end up giving this one a shot. Ooh, okay. Rod Wave Soulfly. Um at 41. Ah. Uh, it was cool. It was cool. Okay. I don't know. Top top 40 definitely not for me, but I mean yeah. I'm less mad about it than obviously some of the other picks. Did you gotcha. did you give this one a shot or no? Nah, I'm not not a big Rod Wave. I I like I like me I some Rod Wave. Uh, he's he's got a cool sound. Going. All right. Okay. But yeah. That's uh Cobb Martyr's wow. Reward at 40. Wow. I'm I'm cool with this one. I'm cool with this one. Yeah. This one definitely a bit less enjoyable for me than um this project last year. Mm-hmm. But I mean this one was still really cool though. This one was yeah. really, really cool. Definitely. I definitely this one. still need to get into that. One thing I do hate though is how uh, Spotify makes it so difficult to find him. Like I can't type just in two letters. Ka. I can't type in Ka and then get a Ka and then find him as an artist. It's kind of it's gonna come up with Kanye, yeah. Kichinata, Kaliuchi's like, and there's All no the way. First, there's no way to to get him unless you're like type in the album itself. Yeah, it's, it's really just easier to do that. Yeah, which. Yeah, it, that's kind of the struggle when you only have two letters for your name. But hey, yeah. it's cool. Very, very cool project. Pretty, pretty happy with this placement here. Not going to lie. Slow Tie, Ooh. Tyron at number 39. Um, I probably would have had this a decent bit higher on this say, list. It would it'd definitely be higher for me. Yeah, definitely. Is that a mask in the tree? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know what the... Oh, I guess I that's, that's just, just the, the, the that's sky. Just the sky. I'm through. stupid. Never mind. It just looks brighter than like what's on the level with it. But hey... Um, yeah, definitely would have had this one a decent bit higher. Yeah. But, um, sure. I mean, cool to see it on here. I'm just, definitely I know I'm going to be, me. I know I'm going to be fucking pissed when I see some of the shit that's above it. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. I know I'm going to be like, what? Better than Tyron? No. No way. Billy Eilish. All right, here we go. We're already starting. We're already starting. Oh, definitely man. not this Billy project uh, over this. Go. Definitely not. I'm not. I'm not. Billy Eilish happier than ever at number 38. No, no, I, I was not. feeling I, it. I was feeling it. I, like I was that. not feeling it, but more. I than like th- it more than her debut. That's crazy to me. 
I like it more than her debut. I thought it Which, was really interesting. crazy to me, but but more over Tyron? Not over Tyron. Not Thank over Tyron. You. Thank you. But I do think they're both very solid albums. Billy has a longer album. And, you know, our, the, uh, Tyron probably has more tracks I'd return to. But if someone was like, I put Billy over Tyron, I would be like, I can see it. I guess I, I can't. Can I don't know. Like I said, I was not feeling this one. Definitely yeah. was more into her debut. Um, just I enjoyed that one, sonically speaking, more. Mm. But ah, just. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very different. It's very it's a definitely a departure from that sound. Yeah. Um, so. Go back. I'm just gonna wow. do whatever you want. I don't care. I don't care. That's not that's none of my business. Do whatever you want. But I mean, hey, I mean, there was some stuff that I thought was pretty cool on this project, mm-hmm. though. So I mean, I I guess I can't say I'm entirely upset. Like you said, if someone said that they had it over there, I'd be like okay about it. But right, hey, not not my personal choice. Right, but hey, All right, moving right along. Moray Street Sermons. I never got to this one, actually. Also this came out not. April. Yeah, no, I did not get to this one. Moray's pretty cool. Um, I sure. mean, like, I yeah, don't have any strong gotta... feelings about him. Exactly. Oh, I know he's him got... is from J. Cole, so. Exactly. But I mean, like, he's got a nice voice. Um, I think, did he end up doing another project that I maybe heard? I don't know. Or maybe, no, you know what? He did a. He did a track with Benny, I think it was. Mm. He had Benny on the feature, and that one was cool. I think that's what it was. But, I mean, yeah, not over Tyron. Mm. Mm. I mean, even though I haven't heard it. I no. guess that's not fair. But I mean, it's not fair. But <clears throat> Yeah, but. It's, hey. Yeah, it's definitely not fair. <laughs> it's, it's not a fair thing to say, but, you know, based on what I have heard of. I don't see it. His music. Yeah, I don't see it. Moving along, Gerbo twenty five. All right, honestly, not over, not over any of the like favorites thus far. Yeah. But it's a solid project. It's a very solid project. Right. Yeah, I was. I'll take. I was kind of down with it. it. Definitely more so than I want to say his project the year before or the one where he had the American flag. I did not oh, feel. Oh yeah, one. PTSD. No, yeah. is that what it was called? Yeah, it was PTSD. Did not feel that one that much, but this one I was definitely a decent bit more into. There's quite a few tracks that I have found myself returning to, especially there was one they did with 21 Savage. This is a solid project. This is a solid project and might, just might make my year end list. I don't know. It's it's tough. It's tough. Might make an honorable mention, if not the very lower portion of it, but solid project. Solid project. Not mad about it being on here. Definitely would have put some of the ones that had preceded it above it, but mm-hmm. not mad about it. All right. Lil Nas X Montero. This is honestly kind of low. I it was, was going to say. Low. Yeah, pretty low. Pretty low. But, um, Man. I mean, I know this is probably going to be in a fairly similar place on my list. You're like, this is too low. I'd put it in the exact same spot, but this is too low. <laughs> well, for a co- for Complex's <laughs> list, in for this complex's context, list, yeah. this is too low. Because I'm sure there are a lot of artists on here that yeah. are not going to be, or are a lot of artists that will be on yours that aren't going to be on this list. Exactly. But, yeah. I mean, the complex yeah. is too low. Yeah. I definitely, honestly, I expect the complex to put this a lot higher. It is surprising that it they did It is very surprising. But, I mean, obviously, we've been hyping up this project for a while. Extremely, a extremely while. fun, amazing project. So, <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely wish it would have been a bit higher, but hey. What can you do? Uh, <laughs> editor's note! Editor's note! Thank God we're not on Twitch right now. Editor's Ooh, note. That could have um, been bad. Yeah, that could have been really bad. Whoa! I'm going to skip right along, Whoa. but that Halsey record is not it. This, um, this James Blake slander, as I'm yeah, wearing my 33, James Blake 33? Hell no. Hell no. Definitely not. The disrespect that's that not, is being that's not okay. shown right now. That's not okay. This is this is definitely. I chose the wrong day to wear this. Yeah, you did. But this is this is a this is a solid solid chunk higher. Wow, wow. And you know what? I'm not even gonna say. Uh, well, uh, mm, I don't know. I just know this should definitely be way higher. 
Yeah. For, especially no. f- for what Complex is going to have above it, I already know. Complex, already know. what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still mad about the fucking boob, bro. Can I read, can I read their, their little their explanation for this? Friends That Break Your Heart just might be most accessible album. Very true. True. Sounds less experimental than someone's past work and more refined in terms of his lyrics and messaging. But it's still on true. funeral. Life is not the same while making more eclectic tracks like Coming Back and Frozen. Coming Back is not eclectic. That is so basic. But anyway. it, is, it is very basic. It's, it's great, but it's basic. Yeah, no. I mean, it's, it's definitely, from what I understand, one of his more accessible projects. But, I mean, it's, oh, yeah. it's definitely one of the better accessible. ones this year. But, hey. Man, 33. Yeah, uh, we peaked ahead 32, Nas, King's, King's Disease, Disease 2. Um, I think that's a little way too low, too. Yeah, definitely. This was, I was I was definitely kind of with this one more than the original. King's Disease 1, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, this is, this is a bit low for them. Um, Probably, I mean, there's definitely, I would have put um, James Blake, I would have put Tyron over this. Ooh. But, I mean, this is a... Very, very a solid, solid project. Um, and Come definitely on. with some of the stuff that is probably coming up, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah. Moving yeah, it's gonna be right bad. along. Yep. Here we are. Literally, complex. You always do this. You always do this. I'm like, yeah, we there's knew. probably we gonna knew. be something right a, like around here that's above this that I'm gonna be as set as right. This is fucking terrible. This Young Thug project is fucking awful. Not a good Thug album. It's just not a good Thug album. I, I fucking, I adore Young Thug. Do not get me wrong. But this project is it wasn't it. terrible. Yeah. Definitely not better than I don't know what Nas. they're, better than Nas. What the fuck? Not better than Slow Tide. Not better than James Blake. Fucking they're Christ, tweeting. no. Wild. Fuck it. you! Are, y'all are smoking some crazy shit. What the fuck? No, no, God, no! And, <laughs> and you do it again, and you do it again. <sighs> Sleepy Hollow still sleep at number three. No, I don't no, even have words. I'm not. I'm we're not scroll, even. We're I'm not even past. gonna give that. Yeah. All right, Conway. Okay. Lamar, no, this is this is dope. This is dope. I'm I'm fine with this one. I'm fine with this one. Solid. You know? Honestly, solid placement solid. because I know it's probably going to end up in a similar spot on mine as well. Um, mm. Just because I have so many. I might many put it actually that, higher. I well, really, my I just I have really, so many that I love. Yeah, you do. And like I, definitely this is, ah, it's, I really enjoyed this project. But mm. I don't know, just coming off from King to a God, like that is really. do it for you. That is a, that is a fucking defining project. And this is great. This is great, but it's just ah, it's not quite I nearly as. I love close. this one because ah, what is that track? The the final track that has Boldy and Se Gang. God, Dang, that's a good one. God, that song is so good. But I mean, of course, you've also got the other tracks in the album. Scatterbrain, Scatterbrain's can't. amazing. Yeah, Blood Roses is cool too. Oh, actually, one of my favorite ones, and I don't know if this is a Norman pick, Clarity. Clarity is so good. Clarity's good. I like KD. Two hundred uh, pies is cool too. Six thirty tip off. Two hundred pies is honestly underwhelming for me. I was really, really? expecting to love cool. that one. It just didn't because I mean, Two Chains really just eats his features, but that one didn't do it for me. I guess. Yeah, but, yeah, no, but I do is, really this like a, this album. It was a really cool project. I, My favorite Griselda release of the year, I can say. I would. No, no, I do not agree. You know how I. You know how I feel. Dude, fucking Hitler wears her maze. Eight side B though. You know oh. how I feel. Listen, you if that if that never that came name. out, if that never came out, this would be my favorite Griselda release this year. Actually, no, because Bo Jackson technically a Griselda release. Does that count? I guess. I guess not. But like, if we're talking like the main three, then yeah, yeah, this would have been if side B hadn't come out. Because I did enjoy this one more than side A. Mm. So yeah. Okay. Got to get into. Oh, mm. uh, so you don't Why show this the one, cover? but you show the fucking titties, bro. What? Bro, I was like, I was like, what is this Alchemist project that I didn't? I was like, yeah, what is year? this? This is a fantastic wow. project, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. This alt but cover is very, I don't hate this alt cover. Honestly. I don't hate it either. Like, this is cold. This is a cold yeah. ass cover. But right. the fucking, 
the original cover is so brutal. It's and so, And, like, look, I guess I'm glad I don't have to censor a second thing, right? Yeah. But come on, y'all, sh- y'all show the fucking booba, but not this? <laughs> come on, bro. I would have rather have had to censor two things. Hey, man. And, look, and look, I guess good on Complex for Free the Also, network. Wild for Complex, honestly, surprised they even have this on their list. No, honestly, this was this is this is making a ton of noise. I, I uh, for complex bad. though for complex yeah and to be at number twenty eight this is man. making a ton of noise. If honestly, this should be higher on complex list, but this is this is actually no, it's I, higher on my list. I'm pretty sure. I wow, I like <clears> this. <throat> I like this album I, quite I, a bit. This is a fantastic um, project. Yeah, God. no, this I, is, do, I mean, I do really like this all cover. This is so cold. It this is, is so nice. cold. It is like really just dope. the the architecture and shit. Like ah, damn, yeah. I'm in love with this. That's nice. Yeah, Which and I like how it's kind of like you know the white is kind of it's like blown out a bit. Yeah, it's like um, overexposed. Like yeah, it's nice. It's yeah. nice. Very cool. Very cool. Definitely worthwhile project if you haven't heard it. Yeah, but Don. Eh, too high. Yeah, I was too saying, high. It's definitely too high. I I mean, I could conceivably see it on this list in the mm. in the lower portion like definitely it's definitely better than culture and fucking the meek mill yeah yeah for sure but i mean this high no nah, not necessarily nah, there's some good stuff on it. there but it's it was a little underwhelming but yeah. but the chapter we know though louis that Bell? is that is a good one that is a very good one yeah but yeah that's... yeah but don yeah could have could have done with a bit more could have Listen, I'm not even going to come out here and say I hated this project. Because I don't think I did. But the placement. I don't remember it. But fucking 26, bro? Polo G Hall of Fame? No. Piano G. And look, this is this was a fine project. I don't hate yeah. I don't hate Polo G like that. Yeah. I think he's cool. He's got some like really cool stuff going on. He's got a cool sound when it's not the fucking same piano beat. I was about to say. When it's not the, the exact production. same. It's the production that really it's holds a, him yeah, back. Yeah, it really holds him back. He's got like a super dope like. Rap voice, but fuck. also please get better cover art, bro. All of his yeah, cover art is so trash. I don't know. the The goat one is not terrible. The goat one is pretty trash for me. I don't know. This one's bad. Die a legend is fucking weird, and I I still can't shake it because on Die a Legend he looks like um this one basketball player. Fuck, I can't. I uh, can't. You know, I'm definitely not gonna know. Yeah, no. So I'm not even gonna bother asking him. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, like. And he also just released Hall of Fame 2.0 as well. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Um, that album cover didn't look good either. So. Oh, no, but like um, the feature he has on Better Days, like which is like this really popular track, like mm. he sounds so cool on that production. Like, and it's like, production. A, it's like a pop it song too, but it's like, it's so, like he sounds so cool on there. You know what this just reminded me that's going to be up here somewhere is that... Um, that little baby and little Dirk project, which I actually like. I was gonna it, say that's a, that's a pretty valid pick. Way too high. Yeah, compared this is to way what too they high. have on there. Yeah, no, not you're putting Polo G above Arm and Hammer. Putting Polo G. Yeah, above, that's not. You're putting Wale above Arm and Hammer. Yeah, that's not. I didn't. Did I listen to this? I, I did. Didn't right to this. I did. I was not feeling it. I've never yeah. been a big Wale. Wale, Florin two. Nah. Nah. Don't have much I'm not I I'm not it, angry. But. I'm not like mauling about this one, but nah. Yeah. Nah. Not it. IDK, you see for yourself. You know what? No, it's no It's for not me. it's too high, but fine. It deserves to be on this list for complex. I don't I wasn't I wasn't feeling it this year. I, I wasn't, wasn't either, but one. again, I complex. definitely prefer I definitely prefer um what was it? IDK and Friends 2. Mm, that came out yeah. last year. Is that what it was called? Yeah. Yeah. I like that one more. That was I also cool, liked though. Is He Real? I yeah. like that one more than this. I do like Is He Real more. This one just didn't do it for me. It also felt like it was very like safe. It was. It was safe. Although yeah, like, like I mean there are some highlights on here like Peloton's really cool. I do like Peloton. Shoot My Shots really cool. Shoot my shots. But those are the and those are the cuts. singles. Exactly. Exactly. That's the point. Come on. 
But yeah, no. I mean, like, IDK is, like, making a name for himself more and more, so I guess that's cool. And obviously right. that Kevin Durant cosign has helped him a lot. Like, mm. I feel like that has made the biggest impact. I remember he was teasing story. something from Andre 3000. I guess that was just a lie. Yeah, and like, didn't he, he just, like, lie uh, about the fucking MF Doom feature, too? Oh, like, he, he did lied. get the MF Doom feature, though. Oh, he did? I yeah, remember. it's on this album. Oh, but fuck, But it's barely, yeah, yeah. it's like... Barely it's there, barely right? a feature. Uh-huh. Can you it's see like, why he did, I like, the remember it? <laughs> yeah, it was very, it was not memorable. Yeah, exactly. So, there you go. There yeah. you go. That's that. 25 max or 23 Ooh. maxo cream weight of the world. I know you're feeling Ooh, this yeah. one. I'm not even gonna say anything. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. That's He's a good placement for this one, too. Um, yeah. I, I, I still need I to might go not back have... to this one, but yeah. When I think about, you know, everything else that it's above, I think I, could, I would firmly place it above everything else. Wow. That's yeah. intense. Is this a definitive Maxwell Cream project then? I would say, I, I don't think it would be the one I would tell people to, like if I'm introducing someone to Maxwell, I don't think I would say start with this one because I feel like then if you go back, it, it, it like there's a very natural progression. Like I feel okay. like if you go back, you'll kind of start to be like, oh, well, this isn't as good as that and this isn't as good as that. But I think if you're a Maxo fan and you kind of watch the growth, like I would probably say, honestly, I think you could start at the beginning of Maxo's discography. Or you could probably start at Punkin. That's where I would be I like, guess. you could start here. And then you but just I mean, go like up if, and see if they had grow. to listen to one project. If they had to listen to one project, I would say listen to this one. Okay. I would say listen to this one. I think it's very good. I also liked his last one. That made my year in list. Right. Two years ago, whenever that was. That was good. Yeah. But this one is better. This one is better. It's so good. I, I need to give this one me, another listen. It made me cry. Yeah, so we heard. It's good. So we it's heard. Good. Well, oh, I'll, I'll give this one another listen before the end of the year. I, I Should. promise Should. by that one. Because maybe I'll try. All right, this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. Wow. And you know what? Uh, I'm a Casey fan. Big Casey yeah. fan. Saw her live. It's nice. Very great. I I still need to listen to Golden Hour, but uh, Golden this, so, this didn't do it. Golden Hour is a lot. Golden Hour is a lot better. Golden Hour yeah, is I a say, lot. This better. one didn't necessarily do it for me. There were a couple of tracks that I was like, "This is cool." Okay, so yeah. you're doing your thing. This is cool, but yeah, I feel like Golden Hour is the definitive Casey Musgraves. That That's what is, I feel like because everyone talks about yeah, that one. Every, because that was the one that everyone was like, "Oh my." <laughs> God. Oh my so god. So good. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's this like everyone's favorite high. album of all time. <laughs> okay. I don't won't say that. But I a lot of I, people it was would. very high on my year and list that year. And I probably if I went back, I probably would move it down a little bit. I was very okay. in the during the year, you're in the hype year. It's very yeah. you know. But yeah. Yeah, no, it's yeah. This was this was solid ish though. It was decent. It was decent. Yeah, it's it's yeah. way too high. It's way too high. Yeah, but. definitely way too high, in my opinion. Keep it moving. And also way too high. another one that I, yeah, is definitely way too high, although I did enjoy more than the Casey Musgraves one, the Snow Allegra I would Temporary agree. Highs in Violet Skies. I think this I was just cool let project. down by some of the album cuts. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the two tracks with Tyler are really cool. Mm. Um, I was let down by those a little <laughs> bit. I'm not gonna lie. Really? I don't know. I think I think they I were, cool, they were cool, but I I didn't love them as much as I was hoping to. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think definitely Ugg those feels again for me is definitely a lot more solid of a uh, project. Yeah. Um, I like. Oh, what's that song? It's like something twenty nine. Oh, it's Charlottesville. Charlottesville. That one's fantastic. I adore that song. Yeah, that's so that's much. One. I am in love with that song. I I am so glad you said that because we've oh, yeah. literally because this was like when I got in this album is before like we were like this. So mm, yeah, I like I never got to talk about this album, but hearing you say yeah. that as your your pick, you're yeah. valid. You're valid for that one. That's good. When I heard the album, that was the one that because I, I didn't hear it during that year, so it was a little bit right, out. right. But yeah, no, that's, that was the one that 
really stuck with me. That's that's the one. That is the one. It is it's yeah. a very very pretty great album all the way through. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I might have hyped it up a bit too much when I first heard yeah. it, though. It happens. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, but yeah. no, it's it's still a great project. But yeah, mm-hmm. no, definitely this one. I mean, it was cool. There's some cool sounds on there. Like I said, I like I like the Tyler cuts. I think Neon Peach is the one that has like that bit more bouncy yep. instrumental. I like that. That's cool. That's a nice vibe right. at specific times when you're driving your time. car under the right. influence of oh wow uh, something possibly. There we go. Um, wow. in a video game. Whoa! Fuck me! All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, no complex. Stop! Stop lying to yourself, okay? Justin Bieber, Justice. And look, when I first heard this project, I was like, "Look, it's an okay project, but the concept, like the quote-unquote concept, makes me hate it with every fiber of my being." So bad. So bad. But, like, as I've, like, looked back on it, I'm like, yeah, this is just not that great. Like, fucking God. Christ, dude. Justin Bieber justice at 20. Stop lying to yourself. I feel like it's only going to get worse. From here. Yeah, no, it really is only going to get worse. Peach is hard carry, I guess. Yeah. But, like, yeah, no. God. Peach is hard carry for that one. 19. 19? Yeah, he is not happy about that one. 19 you know what i will say though i am happy to see that why were people not if you're putting this this high why was everyone not why was why are people just not raving about this all year long see what i think it is is just like like why is it now everyone's like this album is great like i just think it's not news that's why like it's generally i mean for us obviously big news when it came out but like yeah for a lot of people like vince staples isn't like a name they look towards you know i i'm just like he's 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 a big name he i mean is. he's not as big as he used to be yeah no definitely i think definitely during like big fish big fish era. yeah i think <clears> also <throat> the sound of big fish kind of is what like uh put him made on him less thing. popular yeah. Really? I, I, no, I, oh, yeah. I feel like it made him less popular. Because I feel it was, like, it was a divisive one. Some, for I feel sure. like summertime is when he really kind of was like gaining popularity. Yeah. And Big Fish kind of turned. Because, see, the thing is, that's another thing now. This is what happens with Vince Staples. People did not like Big Fish Theory when it came out. And now everyone wants to be like, oh my God, Big Fish Theory is so good. I was there. <laughs> I was there. And no, people I was, did not I was like. A, first listen, I was like, yeah, this is it. People did not like that album. They were like, what is this techno whatever? I can't get into this. Da, 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 da. Now people are like, oh my God, this is literally the definitive Vince Staples album. Da, 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 da. Y'all, weren't, y'all weren't there. Y'all weren't down <laughs> in the trenches when I was there defending this man. Dude, that's what they always do though. Like the fucking experimental shit gets fucking backlash. And then when that becomes more the norm... Then they're like, oh, yeah, we were there day one. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut I the forget. Fuck. They did that with fucking Yeezus. They did. They're doing that they actively did. right now, actually. Yeah. I, I was there. I was no. there. I know how y'all felt about Big Fish there. And I know how y'all felt about Vince Staples. Y'all were calling it underwhelming. I don't, I don't forget. I don't forget. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Whatever. We're moving on. Moving. Complexes. Right along. Let's no, not quite. Complex. <laughs> you almost got it right. You like, almost plus, got it right. I mean, hey, this is this is side A. This is side right? A. That's why I said they almost got it right. Okay. At number eighteen, but side, side B guns. Will probably Hitler be wears Hermes. Eight, sincerely, eight off. I don't know if they're counting it. I feel like they would. I, I mean, feel like, like it'll yeah, be higher. I don't know. It's. Do they really have enough room to put it on here? I guess. I can't really they think do. of much else that came out if I'm being honest. They've got they've got 19 or yeah, but 17 uh, more side spots. A. This like I said, I prefer La Machina over side A, but side yeah. B is my definitive Griselda project. Mm-hmm. I'm not um, I'm not putting side A over Vince Staples. I'll tell you that. Right yeah, now. I I probably wouldn't I feel, even do that. I either. feel like most of the albums that come, I'm gonna be like, I probably wouldn't put that over Vince Staples. Yeah. That's that's your benchmark there, but yeah, I mean, like, happy it's on here, but eh, I probably would have wouldn't yeah. have had this nearly as high. But I guess I can understand why it's there. 
Mm. Isaiah Rashad, number Ooh. 17, the house is burning. Very, That's very yummy. nice. I very like nice. That. I like that. Definitely. A lot. I'm not not mad about this placement at all. But no. Yeah. No, definitely not. I mean, I love this album, so very cool. Very I'm cool. Mad about it. Trucking right along. All right. Number 16, Money Bag Yo. And you know what? It's, I'm not even surprised for Complex. I'm not surprised. Yeah, it's Complex. That's. Not surprised. And you know, I haven't heard this project, but I've heard good things. I don't remember if I did hear this one or not. I've but, heard, I've I heard mean, like, people genuinely like this. Um, yeah. I haven't heard it. You know what? Maybe I I'll did hear it, and it was fine. It was fine. Mm. Not top, not top 16. Not top 16, yeah. But it was fine. It was fine, you know, like I didn't hate right. it. Right. Per se. Okay. okay. Top 15. Moving right along. Olivia Rodrigo sure. Sour. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Let's sure. Yeah. Fuck it. Fine. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, like it. I mean, it's Olivia. I knew she was going to be on here somewhere. Yeah. I honestly thought it would be higher, but. Yeah. Honestly, um, I this kind of makes sense for Complex to be yeah. this high, but I mean, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. You know? Yeah. Not, no, no. You're not going to get any complaints out of us. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it, you know. Let's get it. We're top We're 14. Now. An evening with Silk Sonic. <sighs> all right, all right. Listen, I'm saying it's valid. I'm saying it's valid. Ooh, I'm man. saying it's valid. I uh, just came out though. That's that's tough. Not above Vince Staples. Not above Vince Staples. Not above Vince Staples. It's not above Tyron for me either. Whoa. I'm gonna keep it real. Okay. I'm gonna keep it real. That that I'm gonna have to disagree with you on, but like I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know. Um, I you know actually oh, well, maybe maybe I'd put it above. Maybe I'd put it on the strength of lead, on the strength of the singles alone. I guess I don't know. I okay, think I can so put it over Tyrant. I actually so I started an Excel spreadsheet mm, right okay. to start ranking my stuff, and okay. I have not placed this or Adele's album in there yet because I didn't mm. want to start thinking about it. So I don't know exactly where this would land. I'm letting it. I'm letting them marinate. Speaking yeah. of which, Adele's probably going to be pretty high on here now that I think about it. Mm, guess that's true. Yeah, it's top ten. True. My money's on top ten. Or wow. number thirteen, maybe. No. Oh, okay. Baby King, melodic mm. blue, thirteen. About honestly, this man. honestly, this has grown on me a ton this year. And I'll say I'll say it's it's grown on me too. I I think I think I needed to I needed time. I needed time to separate yeah. myself from my expectations. Yeah, because your expectations were way too high. I did not have hey. nearly as high of expectations as you did. And I went in and yeah. I enjoyed this one a solid amount. But honestly, just I've been going back to this project a lot. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah. Like I especially think tracks really... like Scars. And fucking right. trademark USA sixteen is a fantastic closer. I I really just I think I'm still trying to tell myself this is not it's not that for my bitch, and that's fine. It, yeah, it's so fine. Need Although to be I that. I I like I like some of the sounds that he's going with on this one though. Like like, I said, I like especially that, scars in sixteen. <sighs> that's so like those are so nice. The, uh, so nice. This album is good. It's never gonna be. It's never gonna be his previous work for me. I guess, but I can I can agree with that. But I mean, this is. I've been going back to this one a lot, and it's really it's, grown on me a ton. It's very good, and I can see this being one that. Because this is another one that I feel like when it came out, people were kind of like, eh. Yeah, I think I, I feel know. like people were kind of shitting on this one when it came out. They were. They were. They you were. weren't there. You guys weren't there. I'm telling you, this is going to have, in a few years, people are going to be talking about this album. I know. This one specifically. They're going to be talking about this album like it's a great album. They're going to be talking about this album the same way they talk about Big Fish Theory now. Y'all weren't there. I remember. I'm here now. I'm here now. I'm being Uh, honest, though. I'm being honest about what I got from this album. But I feel like the reason I had this album rated lower is a little different than why a lot of other people had it rated lower. Um, Because you... The uh, the discography bias. Yes. It's because right. I'm such a big fan. No. But I mean, honestly, that says a lot. The fact that I wasn't even that crazy about this album, but he still made my top five artists of the year. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Come on. Which I know, this is fan fantastic. Fantastic project. Has grown on me so much. 
I'm, Since it I came mean, out. placement very high for me, but I mean, for a complex list, I'm not mad at it. For a complex list, but yeah, yeah it's sure. definitely not going to be top thirteen for me. However, yeah. I mean, hey, I fucking it might make pretty surprisingly high placement. All right, time will tell. We'll see. Moving. Oh, fucking Christ. I forgot about this. I really Christ, forgot about I it. I forgot this project came out. Pregnancy by Drake. Um, Not no. number 12 no. at no. all. You not anywhere this, near you 12. Put it, you, if they you could, put it mid-35, like th- mid-30s for me, I would have no, been could have. I could have seen this in the 40s. I know you were going to say lower. I like this album, though. I know you do, but fuck, no. It's just it's to me, it's gotten worse. Like it's. I haven't really gone. I will say, I haven't really gone back to it. I haven't really gone back to it. Yeah. Which maybe says says something, but I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Ah, uh, it's you just know? it's in my opinion, it's gotten worse for me. If I went back and listened, maybe it would, but I won't even do that because I legitimately don't care. But I did hear <laughs> what was it the other day? Knife talk that came out. I love that track. That, that's twenty one cool savage, one. but yeah, uh, that's just ah, yeah. like we're never getting old Drake back, man. We're not, we're not. And it's we're so really sad, you know sad what? to oh, see well. it. Oh well, oh well. Number oh. eleven, Benny Whoa. the Butcher plugs. I'm at two. That is that is high. That is very high because this. I mean, this isn't even. And it's an than EP. One for me. That's not even an album. Is it technically an EP? It's like seven tracks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally an EP. Yeah, this isn't Number even... 11? Wow. <coughs> and I think this is solid. I think yeah, no, it's solid. solid but, but I'm not putting it on 11? an album list. I would put it on an EP list. Yeah. Come on. I know. And Come this on. isn't even better than fucking Plugs I'm at 1. Like, not. It's not. I don't know. I guess, like, I guess I just don't feel... Harry Fraud didn't do the first one, right? Yeah, I want to say he did. Did he? I don't I know. I want to say he did. Huh. I, I guess. He did. You can fact check. I'll, but, I'll fact check it later. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, no, I just, that's, this wasn't. That's pretty high. That's very high. Yeah, that's high. That's really high. I'm not. But above Drake. And I love Benny. Right. I love Benny. Uh, yeah, honestly, Benny above Drake. That's. I mean, that's, I'm just for complex at least, you know. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's cool. That's cool, I guess. Good to see him. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Honestly, valid. That was a This is left. valid. Wow. I did not expect them to have this on I here. did not see. I did not expect anyone Shelly, to have this. Shelly, FK Dram, top 10. Complex, you're valid for this. That's cool. It. it I don't you know, know that it's it would be my top be 10. On my t- yeah, no. It's nowhere near my top 10. But, but the fact that they were, they put it there. Wow. Lovely. That is fantastic. Because this Good is a fantastic y'all. project. Good for y'all. This is good wow. for y'all. And I was I'm, just thinking about the lay down last night. Dude, I was just down. listening it's, to that track. Is something else, man. That song is just built different, dude. Wow. But good dude, for exposure. Shelly. Good for Shelly. Exposure. I know it's a single cup, yeah. but damn, dude. You know I like cooking with grease. I know you didn't like that. <laughs> No, you I know, really I, like I've, been, I've been going back to Cooking with Grease. It's good, but ah, just something about exposure, man. Dude, that, that I, because I remember distinctively yeah, you were what had happened. That, that track I out. was feeling fucking awful when that song came out. And I was, I'm yeah. like, I'm literally cured right now. I do. I I'm feeling that. infinitely better. I remember better. that very vividly as well. This is another, this is another wedding song, Exposure. Yeah. Point blank period. yeah. That's, 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 that's playing. That's playing, dude. Wow. 2021, I'm already planning my wedding, bro. Oh, no! <laughs> Number nine, Don Tolliver, Life of a Don. No, underwhelming Don Tolliver project. This is way too high, and I like way this too album, high. but this is way too high. Way but I mean, that means the Lil Baby and Lil Dirk should be coming up any Oh, any yeah, no, it now. should be. And, like, again, that's going to be a bit high, in my opinion, but it's a solid yeah. project. I'll, I'll give it that much, but, yeah, mm. that's way too high, man. Without a doubt. Way too high. Matt oh, Kami. This is another eight, one I've got to get in before the end of the year. I never got to this. And you know, I, I feel did like. Did you never was, listen to this one? I never listened to it. And you know what? I feel like I was a little bit turned off by the initial. Everyone's saying it's one reception. of the greatest hip hop albums of all time. 
Yeah, I was like, okay, whatever. But yeah. now I really got to listen to it. And after hearing that feature on the Catronada EP, oh yeah, I'm like, man, oh, I need to hear this. No, I he's this. his. This is a very, this is a very good project. Definitely, yeah. definitely something that like I haven't returned to nearly as much, but yeah. I, I want to. And that I, that cover art is just so awesome. I really wish I copped it when it was it fucking is. went for it sale. Is. But fuck, dude. Yeah, like, this is just, uh, I, it's, I a, it's a good project. It's a very this good project. One, to see if it really is one of the best hip hop albums ever created. I, I don't know about that, but it's yeah. it's good. It's good. Don't get me wrong. Number seven. All right. Everyone's feeling People this summer really, rocker project. Man, I, I gotta listen like, to that did tonight. Did I miss something? I gotta like, listen to I that mi- album I tonight. feel like I had to have missed something because top seven, fucking top ten on. I'm throwing I'm throwing it on tonight. It's happening. I, 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 I'll give if it it's, another if shot. It's this, if it's this Time magazine. And complex got up here. I'm like, all right, yeah, that's <laughs> fucking shit, dude. Summer Walker still <laughs> over it, dude. I, Man, I guess I don't know. Everyone's feeling this. I feel like now. I feel like the odd one out. I know, and I, I did not. I didn't enjoy this, but I'll I'll give it another I, shot. That, that's why. And see, now that I'm seeing everyone love it, I'm like, man, I'm really yeah. gonna love this. And it's so late. I'm like, this can't carry over into next year. Then what if I have Summer Walker on my rap next year? Dude, just fucking, I mean, just, I don't know, maybe you will. Who knows? Kanye West donned at number okay. six. It's to be expected. Yeah, lower it's than to be I expected. expected. Really? Oh, what, yeah. I'm, what we're going to get above this, we've got, we've got J. Tyler, Cole, we've Tyler, got J. Cole, we've got Doja, she was pictured, Lil Baby. Doja. Yeah. That okay, might have so been all of them. That's four, no, that's four. We still need. Four. I doubt they're going to put Little Sims on here. Let's find I out. I mean, I guess we never know. But yeah, Let's Donda, it's out. it's to be expected. Yeah. I guess. Oh, his, Jasmine oh, Sullivan. Jasmine. All right, all right, all right. All oh, right. How did I forget Jasmine? All right, all right. Right. Jasmine. all right. So we're not getting Little Sims. We're definitely not getting Little Sims. Ah, uh, we're not getting but, Little Sims. Bro, but, bro, Cole Top 5? Cole Top 5? Are you no. surprised? It's complex. You can't be surprised. I feel like I feel like it might not make the list now that I think about it. He's on the, he was on the, no, he wasn't. No, there's no way J. Cole's not on this list. I don't know, man. He's probably going to oh, be... Oh, bro, pick up your feelings. Yeah, that is... Oh, that's a great yeah. one. Oh, price tags. Is... Yeah. Yeah. Lost no, one. Oh. Lost one is so good. Oh, I do love this project, don't I? Uh, yeah. Fuck. I you, do this... love this. This mm-hmm. is a great mm-hmm. project, isn't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. I know. No, no one was right. This is great. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, let's see. Number four. Right. I'm saying Lil Baby. Planet, Planet Her. Her. Maybe Lil Baby doesn't make the list. That's what I'm starting to think now. And we could get, maybe we get the other West Side Gun. No, maybe no, we get they're, side not, B. they're not doing it. I, am, I know they're definitely not doing it. But Doja, wow. I mean, we, <clears throat> we were actually just talking about this the other day. Um, the project as a whole was underwhelming to both of us. Yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, I went back to options. That is such a good track. It was, need to know is the track. one for me. Need to know is cool. I there's there are there are some really good highlights on here, but just as a whole, it's just nah. so underwhelming. I'm so disappointed. I know, and like especially like because like I like I like Doja Cat. I like Doja Cat. I don't want I don't want anyone to get that twisted. Mm. I like Doja mm. Cat's music. But no, yeah, I'm a, this, and I'm a big Doja fan. I'm a big Doja. fan. Yeah, he's so, a huge Doja fan. So the fact that I was disappointed by this says a lot. No. But dude, fucking. And this cover options? art is absolutely abysmal. <laughs> God. But yeah, no. The options, man, dude. I, I can't get over options. It's so fucking yeah. good. It's I like it's been on repeat. It <laughs> might like fucking it might spill over into next year and wow. get on my rap. Not gonna I lie. Will tell. Number three. Adele, Adele! We forgot about Adele. Cole's so not no making this list. Baby. Cole is not making this list. Cole is making the list. Cole is not top two, bro. He's dead. There's you no think fucking way. J. Cole is not going to be on this list. You are wild. You are wild if you nah, think bro. they're not putting J. Nah, Cole bro. top two. I'm, I'm, putting, I'm putting it down. Cole is not making the list. Chair, get over the goddamn net. <laughs> Cole is not <laughs> making this list. Adele, 30 at three. I mean, that's, that's kind of steep for me, in my opinion. But like, it's high, But it's Adele. It's Adele. Yeah, it was going to happen. You're wild if you don't think J. Cole's on this list. Son of a bitch! Oh, no! Like, what? Like, why? It's complex. 
Why I in the guess, world would I J. Guess. Cole not be on this list? They have Meek Mill on this list. I guess. Why would they have left J. Cole off? I guess. I don't know. Part of me had hoped. So now. No. Okay, well, all right. So J. Cole is number two. So, number and one I was right. is and I was right. Tyler, of course. Which, like, is I'm not mad at the pick necessarily. No. Who's surprised? But no Little Sims, bro. No Little Sims. No, little hold Sam. on. Let me see what else. What, what else are y'all missing over here? Side B. No Genesis Owusu. No Side B. Uh, you couldn't have expected the Genesis. I guess I couldn't have. They're missing. Uh, no um, LP? No LP? That was a little surprise. I don't know. Has Complex been into Peggy like that? I feel like they, I feel like they gave Cornball some love when it came out. They probably did. They probably did. Bro, no LP? Bro. That's that's fucking oh, crazy to oh. me. Yeah. That's fucking insane. Yeah, they had Harama. Uh, complex. Listen, all right, look, I'm going to admit, this is probably one of Complex's better lists. I hated saying that. Ooh, I don't know. It's one of their know. better lists just based off of some of the picks. Yeah. But there's a lot of fuck shit on here, which it's complex. There's always a lot of right. fuck shit on it's there. It's going to happen. And but why do you have an EP on here? Come on. I had two EPs, technically. Yeah, I guess so. Three. Are well, we doing, guess, we're I, doing Pitchfork now, too? We're, we're going we're gonna to blast through Pitchfork. All right. God. Listen, God. I, I want to do Pitchfork. We're not going to do the rest of them. We're going to blast through Pitchfork, all right? Because we've, we've mauled it about picks already with Complex. We're going to blast through this. And then we'll do Hawkeye okay. real quick. And then. Oh, my God. I forgot we saw Hawkeye. We got this. this we got this. Sorry. such a long episode. No, it's not. Yes, Williams. Literally never heard this album. I don't know who this is. Any nope. any thoughts? Nope. nope. Boom. All right, moving right along. Magdalena Bay. Um, that's low as fuck. Um, but well, this we're is just a talking very, about this album. This is a great album. Um, deserves a little bit more respect. Pitchfork. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, Dang. great album. Ka Mars Reward. Cool to see it on here. Um, not a not a terrible placement. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Forty seven. What? Never heard of it. <laughs> How do I read that? Dill. Frailty, mm. um, mm. yeah, Digicore scene, 18 year old New Jersey producer. Oh, Delete Zeke. There we go. Um, hmm. have not heard that one, not familiar. Right. Although the the color Correct. noise on in, here is, yeah, it's is enticing. Cool. Yeah. Oh, a lot of Negro looks... far in. I did hear this one. I really? don't remember it though. I don't uh, remember it that much. I see, and I that's mean, what happens when you listen to so many albums in a year. Shut the fuck up. I... <laughs> But yeah, no, no. I think I, I vaguely remember this one was pretty cool. Like some of the mm. tracks were pretty cool. But yeah. Mm. Why do yeah. I feel like Helado? That's is that not ice cream or some sort of like? That's ice cream. That's ice cream. Yeah, black okay. ice cream. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, that I, sounds... I swear to God, if that's like ice and I get fucking cumstered in the the fucking what's it called the comments, I'm gonna be upset. 50, I'm 45, whole. I, uh, I'm whole. Um, all right, interesting word choice. All right. Okay, um, yep, yeah, nope, it's, it's sex. It's sex, sex, I, I sex. figured, I figured. Yeah, nope, yeah. definitely. All right. Well, super, super sex. But hey, not familiar. Sophia Cortez, Fresia Magdalena, EP, not familiar, but an EP, interesting. Hand habits. All right, we're get, there's going right. to be a lot of these that we don't know. Not it's familiar. It's Pitchfork, so. Yeah, it's Pitchfork. They, they got all the, like, underground indie shit 42 all right yep. i don't know this one yep. either it's just getting... Fija, I air <clears throat> uneasy lingua ignota oh. 41 center get ready i did hear this one um yeah. this one has shrunken on me a bit mm. i don't necessarily love this one nearly as much as when i first heard it although it is still pretty good still haven't still haven't heard this one i mean it's worthwhile it's weird gotcha. but it's worthwhile 41 yeah, although it's like a pretty surprising place. I feel like Pitchfork would like it more. more. But, hey. Erica Ooh. de Cassier, Sensational. You I heard was, this one. I have I heard, heard this one. one. I like this one. I like yeah, because I've seen you you reviewed this one. Yeah, and I actually just recommended it to a friend last night, literally. Really? Um, Interesting. Yeah. So did not expect to see her here. This is a really good project. You should Very check this cool. one out before I out. will try to. Yeah. 
39, Lorraine James Reflection. Not familiar. Nope. 38, Blue. Navy Once Blue. Again. Oh, he has both of them on ah, there. They just put them both okay. in the same spot. And it's like, hey, fuck it, you know? That's how you feel. Yeah, that's, that's how, you, how feel. you feel. Cool. Definitely need to check those out. As yeah. we previously mentioned, RP Boo, established 37, not familiar. Familiar. Pitchfork, man. Lost familiar. Girls. Oof. Um, Norwegian word that means human collective at 36, not familiar. 35, Illuminati hotties. Let me do one more. I didn't listen to this one. I also did not. But I, I know this one came out. Mm. 34, war The War on, on drugs. drugs. I don't live here anymore. Also didn't listen to this one, but familiar. Dang. Yeah. Now it just looks like you don't listen to music, man. You said what? And now it just looks like you don't listen to music. It does, right? Like, fuck, dude. Now I, I fucking listen to damn near 400 projects, and now I just, I'm like, what? And you, they're just like, no. Yeah, Pitchfork is like, yeah, but did you listen to these, though? <laughs> 33 Zenia Rubinos Una Rosa. <laughs> fucking God, Pitchfork. <laughs> Stop making me look like shit. 32 Adele, 30. Wow, bold. That's a better um, placement, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, that's, that's honestly a pretty valid placement. Yeah. Wiki Half God 31. Oh, I feel like I wanted to listen to this I one. I heard but this one. Yeah, not I've from, heard. haven't listened to it as well. 30 Claire Rousset, a softer focus. Did I listen to this one? I don't think so. 29, that's way too low, my friend. For Little Sim, sometimes I might be introvert. 29? Yeah. That's why. Too wild. fucking low. Too fucking low. Disrespect. 28, Spirit of the Beehive. I did uh, listen to this one. Entertainment. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure you heard this one. Yeah, this one was pretty okay, um, a little high in mm. my opinion. Yeah. 27, more mother, oh, black more mother. encyclopedia of the year. No, I listen to Mother Mother. I didn't I listen to this one. Don't? Not at all the same thing, by the way. I don't. I may have heard this, actually. I feel like you might because have. Because I, like I might have heard to. this because I know that I think Mike Seaton from Dead and Hip Hop was talking about it. Yeah. Um, so I may have given this one a listen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't this I one, don't recall though. I don't recall. Yeah, though. same here, exactly. Arm and Hammer. Oh, okay. They didn't cool. do the I gotta, cover. Yep, I gotta censor this one again. So that's two editors marked. Yep. Arm and Hammer, yeah. Alchemist, Haram. Yeah, that's that's a good placement. Twenty six is a good placement. That's I don't remember what it was on complex, but that's a good placement. Yeah. Twenty five, Indigo to Souza, any shape you take. I like nice. that. Nice. Nice. That's cool. I like that. She's really getting some big exposure this year. So, yeah, I was gonna say that's that's pretty surprising. We didn't see it on any of the other list, but that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Good for her. That's cool. Twenty four Nala Sinefro Space One Point Eight. Not familiar. Familiar. Boom. Uh, Twenty three Black, Black Midi. Oh, this is one we haven't seen yet. Yeah, we have. Very seen surprised. It this is a very good project. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. good. I am not mad about this placement at all either. This is mm. like honestly probably. Just about where it is on mine, I don't quite remember. But mm. 22 Don Richards, second line on Electro Revival. Oh, I'm not here. familiar. Olivia Rodrigo Sour. Honestly, oh. 20 is a good placement. I'm 20, surprised from a, Pitchfork that it's this high. Yeah, that is a surprise, but that's a good over placement. Over the Little Sims. Over the Little Sims. Yeah, not Definitely. over Little Sims for sure. But I mean, like, and I, again, it's not even this, this high on mine. Yeah. But, yeah. but this is a good placement. Like this is just like this was a big album, it and it a wasn't a album. it wasn't bad at all, and it wasn't a bad album, yeah. Exactly, twenty Mac Homie Pray for Haiti. That is surprisingly low, mm, although they, for a Pitchfork you were expecting higher. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they would have dug this one a bit more. Mm. They talk about the wild prices of his uh. Yeah, NFL. fucking so much. Vinyl. I, is he I, on NFT shit? I feel like he mm. is definitely on it. 19, Dean Blunt, oh. Black Metal 2, not familiar. I heard this. I heard this. Mm. I liked okay. it. You liked it? 19? That's a bit much. Wow. But I liked it. I definitely liked this album. I, I don't that. think it was 19. Grouper, Shade at 18, not familiar. No, not familiar. No. 17, Cassandra Jenkins, an overview on Phenomenal Nature, not familiar. Nope. Here we go. Mike Disco. We haven't seen this one yet. We that's haven't. a that's a good one. I like this one a lot. Yeah. I like this album a lot. Yeah, I know uh, you do. I definitely need to go back to this one because I did not necessarily feel it as much when I first heard it, but 
Yeah, this one was yeah. really good. Also, I love the cover art. It's cool. Um, it's so cool. Yeah. Uh, so I'm happy cool. to see it here. 16 Yeah, is, no, that's good. 16. Mm, you know, maybe if I made a list, it would crack top 20. Mm-hmm. Possibly. So I'm not going to say that I'm too mad at that. Yeah, I I mean, I feel like after I give it a second listen, this will probably crack top 50, which is my list. Wow, yeah. Period, but I mean, yeah. Dude. Snail Mail Valentine at 15. Okay. Wow, they're all in on the snail mail. I okay. still haven't heard the full record. What? Yeah, I know. I didn't love it that much, but there there are some tracks on there that I'm I'm really down with. It was cool. Nice. It was cool. Japanese Ooh, yeah. breakfast. We haven't seen this haven't one seen yet. Any Japanese this breakfast. is this is a bit high for me too. Don't get me wrong, but I yeah. love this album. Yeah, so I think, good. I think she showed up on Rolling Stone and Billboard, maybe. But okay, yeah, probably. Oh, I do want to go to Rolling Stone, but we're not gonna do it. No, way. good to see Miss Michelle getting some love. That's love it. Happy to see it. Tears of color grade. You know what? Wow. This is a good placement. I did really that enjoy is, this project. That is. Very high for me, but I it is did, really high. I did like the project. This is a, this is a very good project. I I really need to go back to this. This is a fantastic project. It seems like like I like I feel like it's also it also hits at a very specific time. Like yeah. I feel like there's you can't listen to this project every day, you know. Yeah, no, definitely not. Um, but it was really good, and I feel like I did listen to it at the right time. In yeah, the right exactly. headspace because I'm I was like if I listen to this at a different time. I feel like this has I to be like liked it. I don't know. Are you thinking like nighttime? Yeah, yeah. Okay, of course. Because I'm For sure. I'm thinking like stroke of midnight. Yeah. No, it's late. Like, like right late. then. Yeah, that's it's it it hits then. It yeah. really does. Fantastic. All right. A rouge of tab. Vulture Prince, not familiar. Not familiar. All right. Faye Webster, I know I'm funny. Actually, Faye I did Webster. not I did not enjoy this one that much. Really? I wasn't feeling this one all that much. But... I, she's going on tour with uh, Olivia, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah, going to be that. at the Houston date. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I Is it? I it's weird if we pull up, right? It's I weird. Was, uh, yeah. I, it's yeah, weird if we pull yeah. up. It's, it, it is, but it isn't, you know? You, you know, because I, mean? like, I feel like, honest to God, like there's going to be a decent chunk of like very young Zoomers, but yeah. I feel like a bunch of millennials are going to be there. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. But also, I will say about this Faye Webster up. album, it's I the title. I haven't heard it, but this title, even if I did like this album, it's definitely giving. I'm quirky. I'm not yeah. like the other girls. <laughs> I know yeah. I'm funny. Ha ha. Like. Yeah, it's. It's a little cringe. Yeah, pretty pretty big cringe. Dry cleaning, new long leg at number ten. Not familiar. There we go. Nine Playboy Cardi, whole lot of red. Ooh. Um, fuck you. That came out. Oh, last year. that's good. Top that's 10? good. That's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. I don't know. I'm wow. so low. I'm still really low on Cardi right now. And that's valid. And that's so valid. And I can't stand that man either. But I haven't seen him on any year in list. And well, because it, it came out last year, a, okay, a lot but it of it came year... out at the end after okay, all the but actually, were out. I guess so. It came out on Christmas. Look at I where we're at so. now, December 9th. People had already, I guess, I no, feel like I this... saw it on some list, though. I don't know. No, there's no way. No one's putting out a year on list that late. I guess so. It's, it's in 2020 consider or 2021 consideration. I guess that's so. good. That's real good. But that's it's not top 10 for me. It's top 10. Well, okay, okay. I don't know if it's top ten, buddy. It's top good. ten. It's, it's good. good but fucking not top ten. Well, I'm just happy to see someone put it there, especially on a list from Pitchfork. Yeah, that's that's that's, huge. An, that's interesting. Yeah, that's huge. I'm surprised it wasn't on Complex. That's crazy to me. And that's another album. There's another album people are changing their minds on already. Oh yeah, no, they I were remember, definitely changing my. Now, I look, there. I've been I've been completely honest about me changing my mind about it. Yeah, I said yeah, it just started hitting different. Like. I called you know, it a classic completely day one. Damn, you're fucking insane for that, though. First listen, I was like, this is it. Yeah. Um, I'm not even going to try with this one. I'm pretty sure we yeah, both was, don't know gonna, this one. Yeah, it was going to be bad. Uh, the weather, weather station. station. Not I like that project. Not that's very seven. high, though. Yeah, that's really high. I enjoyed it a solid bit, but nah, seven. It was no. like, you know, we didn't get a Mitski album this year, so this was a nice yeah. placeholder. 
But seven is I high. I really thought the Misky one was going to come out this year, but hey. I Seven's mean, really high. It seems like it's next year. Oh, yeah. turnstile. turnstile. This is a that's that's a bit high in my opinion, mm, but yeah. this is a very very good project. Yeah, yeah, very good. Love, love, Wild. love. It's it's been so hard to get this vinyl too. I've heard it's I've been heard. impossible. And no, they came out with like nine different color variants, which was so cool. Like they had fucking and the whole rainbow and shit brown too. Like they had everything. Man, and it's like yeah, no. No, it's fucking sold out. Nothing, it's, nothing at all. It sucks, but hey, uh, low hey what not familiar. We're we're cracking top five now. We're getting into it. We're getting into it. This is that one off the number one from uh, the Time Magazine one. Floating points, promises. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean maybe we really gotta check it out then. Uh, maybe that eighty-one year old fucking jazz guy right or was the 35 year old the jazz guy the, no the the arkansas was the 81 year old he was the oh, jazz okay guy. he was he was orchestral right or something i don't know uh tyler at number three wow. pitchfork pitchfork call me if you but, get lost okay they're high on tyler high, high all right on tyler that's Good that's valid in my opinion that's valid i mean yeah hey i'm not mad at it little sims is still way too low but yeah, oh right. yeah, that was on the list. I was like, oh, are, is it going to be number one? And then I completely forgot. We already passed it. Yeah. <laughs> number two, Lorraine Fatigue. Ah, I didn't hear this one. I didn't hear this it. looks so cool, though. But now I want to. I was, about to say, I was saying, really it's want number to. two on this list. This cover art looks fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, ah, I do want to see it. I do want to hear this Might one. Might have to add it to the list. It's got to be on the list. Number one, Jasmine Sullivan. That's right. That's what it was. And you know what? I've been you know, out here. Since you know what? January. I'm really, I'm really surprised at how high it's been on everyone's list, I considering that too. it came out so fucking early in the year. It did, it did. But you know what? That's the power of Jasmine Sullivan because yeah, I guess this so. album last. And I remember saying at the beginning of the year, I was like, I feel like I was, I was like, I don't know what the rest of the year holds, but I feel like this album. And I said it. There, that's the one good thing about having a podcast now. It's like, if anybody wants to check me on anything, you can go back. We got the receipts now. Yeah. Got the receipts. I hadn't switched up. I hadn't switched up just because now Jasmine's getting some, getting some Listen, clout. Man. I was there. I've been out here. No, I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. I've been out here. I've been out here. No, I get that. No, I got that. And good you know for what? Jasmine. No, good, good for not, her, certainly. And not all around. Noah, Noah's just happy to be winning. All the time. I am. I am. I like winning. And I like seeing Playboy Cardi at night. That's, that, one's, that one's crazy. That was maybe. wild. That yeah, was that's, wild. That's a no-go. Uh, and uh, guys, if you want to sign up for our Patreon, we're going to do the Rolling Stones and Billboard. Woo! Oh, psych, psych. Psych. But I mean, nah. just peeping this now. This sucks. Oh, okay. We can. Even bigger. We yeah. got time. No, we don't. No, have time. We, we don't, don't have time. time. We definitely we don't have def- time. I told you <laughs> we had no time. Also, no Brockhampton anywhere. Yeah, that's, I guess not till we crazy. got to Rolling Stone. That's crazy. But yeah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna speed through it. Hawkeye Let's episode talk about four. Hawkeye. All right. I wanna know right off the bat, how are you feeling on this episode? I like it more than the last one, I think. I would have to agree. I was a little worried that it was because I was having a late night gaming session and was mm. under the influence of some alcoholic beverages. Mm. Um, but no, it was it was a cool episode. Wow. I thought it, it was, was a cool episode. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was fine. Um, definitely, Hawkeye is still proving to be kind of one of the weaker series. Although it's, I don't know, this episode did bring a lot of charm to, in my opinion. I thought the uh, when they were when they were doing the uh, the Christmas celebration, I thought that was cute. Mm, yeah, um, that was probably the best part of the episode for me. Yeah, was that, that was that was that was cute. Them. It was charming, and I yeah. it's really just like when the two of them are together and they're not fucking separated on side quests. Right, it's, it's the good. show is at its best at those points. It's good. I still do. I still want more. I still feel like I want more from Kate Bishop. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I just she's, feel like I she's want just got to bring her character. it out more. Um, Although, yeah. okay, so so my thing, right, okay. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, are we doing a LARPing side quest again? 
No, that would have been bad. And I will say, the fact that they brought it up again Did it makes you? me a little more warm about when it happened the first time, although that scene was way too fucking long. Just because it, it actually had some sort yeah, of Yeah, it substance. has significance. And I think they're going to bring them back. I think they're going to... Oh, wow. I think they're going to come into prominence during like the finale. Yeah. I feel like that's like kind of my speculation. They're going to help out in some way, especially uh, Grills, the guy. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's definitely going to be the case. Hmm. Um, Interesting. We got Yelena in the episode. We got Yelena finally. That's me, happy. Whatever. Yeah, well, I mean... Um, I, I guess I kind of already knew it was coming because um I did peep I mean, some we of had the... A, uh, well, I peeped some of the little, previews. I peeped some uh, of the previews, and I saw I fucking not. her with her splinter cell fit, and I was like, oh, that's Yelena. That's, there's no way that's anyone else. And then during the scene, when it was like, oh, Maya's up on the roof, and then it's like, no, she's definitely in here. It's like, well, who am it I? Like, I was like, okay, it's, well, it's Yelena! Woohoo! I just but wish yeah, I could have no. had that moment, you know? Because, like, we didn't know when she was coming, at least, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. So that would have been... That would have been cool to have, but um, yeah, I w- even I was like, wait, is, is she going to be in this episode? Because that was towards the end. Yeah, it was, was. It like, was at the very gonna, end, really. Are they going to bring her in? But you know, that I was did. a cool fight scene. Um, the flashbang arrow was cool, right? Um, and the reveal I thought was done really like in a cool way, just the way it was like shot and like how he pulled off her mask, and you could kind of see it, but you only got like a tiny, tiny Glenn. glimpse. Yeah. And I was like, all right, we only got the like once she did the the you know the the widow the, the widow the widow's bite yeah yeah it was like all right yeah was, obviously yeah, yeah we knew but like just I think just the the shot comp from when it, when she was revealed I thought was yeah. really cool it was nice and I think I think the way the episode ends is really nice I thought it was I, I thought it was a good that. ending to the episode because just like oh shit just got real right. leave and like ah I wish this was episode three. Yeah. This is a this is a my, good climactic middle of the series moment. My issue is still with the villain, especially because they're trying to build up Maya. I don't yeah. I, it's not happening for me. I mean they're not building up. She's Maya. barely yeah, they're because they're not building her up. They're not. Like, they're doing she's more barely and barely gonna... been in the show. I feel yeah. like the villain the villains they're just not building up at all. And they're yeah. kind oh, of it's just kinda, they, they got too much dip on their chip, honestly. They have way too much dip on the chip. I will say I don't feel that I feel like I'm the least invested in this series just because overall the yeah. character so i have the i don't have strong feelings about it maybe that's why i i dislike uh Falcon and winter soldier more than this only because i am more invested in those characters so to see them yeah. in a show that i thought was bad is worse for me than seeing hawkeye in a show that i think is average you know I guess um, I I'm warming up more to the series as we're getting into it. Like it's mm-hmm. it's so weird. Like it feels like with most of these Marvel shows, they struggle to find their. Oh, well, I guess with most means Falcon and the Winter Soldier in this one because I yeah. didn't necessarily feel that as much with WandaVision and Loki per se. Yeah, Although enough. like Loki pacing wise in the beginning did have a couple issues. It did have it was a little rough. But, like, for the opposite reasons. Like, with right. Falcon and the Winter Soldier in this one, they struggled to, like, get going, you know? Yeah, for like, sure. that's the issue. Yeah. And, like, it's this just tough. Really like, is that how all of these series are going to be? Like, is that how Miss Marvel is going to be? Is that how uh, Armor Wars is going to be? I think Miss could be better because it's an origin story. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like a show does really good for origin stories. Not a doubt. Not a doubt. Yeah, like, that is... That is a great way to do an origin story because especially like making a hero, a movie sometimes just isn't enough. Yeah. yeah like you have sure. a lot to touch on. So that's why like I, I am totally down with like when they do movies where they introduce a hero in a different movie and then they get mm. their own standalone where you get a bit of the origin story elements in their standalone film, but right. they are have already been introduced. So it's more like... Yeah. They feel less like origin stories and more like coming of age in a sense. Obviously, like, not they're not growing up yeah. literally, but it's coming into their role more so. So I like those, but I'm with you on that. But yeah, I think Miss Marvel's show, got they, a good chance. They're gonna have to do a lot in these last two episodes. To get yeah, exactly. Because I mean, like, I, I mean, like, because like what? They're, I feel like they still have to. They still need to get me like yeah. invested in the villain. 
yeah, storyline there. Like, and, but now they're introducing Yelena, so it's about to go in a completely different direction. Oh, no, absolutely. And, like, Eleanor still hasn't been, like, completely shown to be right. suspect. We're still, still like, what the fuck's the going on with is. Jack? Yeah, mom, well, we know who Uncle is. But, I mean, they could, is, but they could throw us for a loop, obviously. They could throw um, us for a Mephisto loop. Okay, but the Mephisto, there was so <laughs> little to go back off of that. There oh was so little to go off of that. The Loki yeah. King twist, quote unquote, was there was a lot of evidence to back that up. I suppose. This one, there's a lot of evidence to back this one up. And a there's lot of a precedent. lot of evidence. There's a lot of evidence to back this there's one up. There's so up. much evidence. Yeah. And Kevin Feige kind of gave us. He ruined more. it. He ruined it, dude. He ruined it. And I mean, to be it. fair, I mean, fuck it. We're going to come and say it. Vincent D'Onofrio has been. Like he tweeted about it when the show first got out. I was like, motherfucker, stop. Can y'all just Quiet. resist? Quiet. Just resist. Like, damn. Let us have something. I know. Like, I want it to be revealed. And like, yeah, we could have. Because here's the thing. If we didn't know anything about Vincent D'Onofrio potentially coming back as Kingpin and like him tweeting about it, we could have just speculated. Right. And it, we would have been cr- the fucking crazy people whenever fucking the first No Way Home trailer came out. And people are like, those are Charlie Cox's arm hair. I know oh, yeah. his arm hair. Like, and they were like, it. they're fucking crazy. Well. It was actually in the scene that they were talking about in the, in the, whatchamacallit, the jail scene. Yeah. When he's cuffed. Because we saw the full shot of that scene. Did we? I don't remember. Yeah. It's in another trailer. Yeah. But that was and- before we knew anything about, like, potentially the Netflix series is coming into the canon. Yeah. So we, it was just like wild speculation, and people were like, yeah, he's fucking definitely there. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay. Calm down. But because this, it would have been like, we could have had that wild speculation. And then when it happens, we'll be like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That would have been, that would have been cool. But That's like, it's like, ah, we're us. now it's just like, well, we it's know it's going to happen. We all do. Because I, I already know people would have been like, oh, he's wearing cufflinks in the shot. That's definitely Kingpin. And I'd be right. like, that is such a fucking, like, like, I get why you say that, but it's like, that's, you're grasping at straws. It's a little bit of a reach. Yeah. I yeah. just, are they going to make him Spider-Verse big? He's probably going to be the exact same as yeah, he I was. Know. It's a little upsetting. Dirty. I want, I want him to be like broad shoulder, motherfucker. That's very intense. Also, I mean, I guess since that's all we really have to say about Hawkeye, unless you have anything else. No. Um, Across the Spider-Verse looks very exciting. It looks so good. It looks, it looks so, good. so good. I'm so excited. I'm yeah. so fucking hyped. I, I don't remember. Me. Something's coming out the same day as that. And they were saying like, oh, it's hard They're to choose which one way. it's going to be. And I'm like, is it a hard choice? It's, not it's a hard choice for literally me. fucking miles. Granted, also, I don't know what the movie is, but. Everyone fucking have you been seeing the fucking the hair texture memes? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, that's funny. It's funny. Yeah, it is. But just it was a very interesting choice. Very interesting choice for them to do that. It's an interesting to- choice. I'm obviously not gonna speak on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But you I, I think the memes mouth. are hilarious. Oh, um, fuck. <laughs> I think the memes are hilarious. Yeah. No, they are they are funny. Yeah. Without a doubt. There's one, I'll, there's one I'll tell you about after, after we're okay. done recording. Got you. But awesome. yeah, that's, that's that. Hype for that. <sighs> no Way Home's coming out next week. It's coming out next week. Um, and Hawkeye is, yeah. Woo. I'm no, tired. what have you been enjoying this week? I've been enjoying a lot. Um, that's good to hear. I have been, music-wise at least, not listening to a lot. Um, but I did listen to this, um, Hiatus Coyote album, Mm -hmm. um, from earlier this year, which was phenomenal, actually. Um, very, very good. Really liking it. I, it's, it's making a strong year in list, uh, contender, made a strong push for that. Um, obviously love new Brent Fias track Mercedes. Yes. That was great. Um, let's see. This the new track from Grip called Spatula. It's just a single. It's fine. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, seems like it's, you know, fun little track, whatever. Um, new TR Whack EP, not that great. Yeah. Not even that good. Um, there's this one track, Millions, that I thought was decent. Mm-hmm. Um, the beat was really nice. Uh, yeah. That's about it. I mean, we got, whatchamacallit, that new uh, SZA, I Hate You on streaming, but that has been out for a while, so that, right. uh, yeah, there's that. Um, as far as watched, oh, I listened to the new McJenkins. I wasn't super crazy about it, but I did like a couple tracks. Right. Um, let's see, what else did I do? I went to the movies yesterday. Um, I saw, was that yesterday? That was Tuesday. Went to the movies on Tuesday. I saw Come On, Come On um, with Joaquin Phoenix, directed by Mike Mills. Very, very good. I recommend everyone go see it if you can. Um, You won't regret it. Uh, watch Word. that. And did I say I watched The French Dispatch? That was last week. That was last week, yeah. That was last week, yeah. Um, this week, I finished watching Gossip Girl. Or yeah, I watched all the the season finale, and it's a show. Um, <laughs> a I watched show. the Abbott Elementary pilot yesterday. It was so good, so oh, yeah. good. I'm so happy. I love Queen De Bronson. She's yeah, she's great. I'm happy she's got her own show, and yeah, it's really good. The episode of Insecure was also very good. And then this new episode of Succession. God. God. This show, man. This show. Man. You got to start it. You got to start I it. I know. Man. It's so good. It's, it doesn't even make sense how good this show is. Like, it, should, it's, it shouldn't be a lot. It's unacceptable. Listen, I'll tell you this. You get to give me a list of five shows. Five shows, wow. Less than, I'll say less than seven seasons. Less than seven seasons. Oh. It can't be any longer than seven seasons. Well, that's easy. That's what it's That I can start going down. Well, yeah, no, because I I wanted to give you a little bit of leeway. I was going to say five seasons, five seasons or less, but I feel like, ah, there's some really good ones that are five seasons. Um, I feel like a lot of my favorite shows are are newer shows. Um, Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's easy. Succession is definitely probably number one on the list. This show is phenomenal. Well, you, you just give me the list later. I'll, um, I'll do yeah. that. Um, new episodes of It's Always Sunny. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, which I thought were good. It was so funny because just last week, you and I were talking about, I was talking about the whole, um, I felt about, like, blackface and whatever else. And then they addressed it, which is so oh, nice. wild. How, like in the show? In the show, they address it, um, which was really wild because it literally happened the day after we talked about it. Oh, um, damn. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So I guess they were listening. Um, and then also watch- Fans of the uh, pod. Fans of the pod. Fans of the pod. They, they, also, <laughs> they fucking literally just scrapped together that yeah, segment like, of the oh, episode. Yeah, they were like, man, we need to like, talk gosh. about it because no one mentioned it. We got we got to. Yeah, we um, got to. And I also watched new episodes of Sex Eyes of College Girls. Oh, okay. Just very good. I didn't like it at first, but now I'm like, man, this is great. Really great. Good so, to know. Good to know. Um, yeah, that's that. God, what are you watching? What are you watching? <sighs> watching? Listen, I haven't gotten to watch much. I don't know. I yeah. totally would have gone to see... Um, What's what's it called? Um, the movie West Side Story. Uh, West Side Story last night, but I just didn't. I sent my parents to go watch. It. I was like, whatever. Yeah, no go. I got shit to do. Um, right. but I actually did today. Just start the Netflix show Arcane, which is actually I need to start pretty that. good. I've been. It is that. pretty good. Like the I'm animation not even, looks phenomenal. It is so. It's so fresh. Yeah. Like it's so yeah. fresh. Like dude, Riot. Put some of this effort into your games, bro. Dang. Because I, I quit Valorant. I don't play Valorant anymore. But no, I'm not even a huge League of Legends guy. Yeah. It's a good fucking show. It's a good fucking show. And I mean, Jid's on the That's soundtrack. What, so, you know. Jid's hey. on the soundtrack. But no, it's, it's, it's very, very great show so far. I'm only two episodes in. 
but mm-hmm. it's it's good. It's really good. I gotta tap in. Yeah, but that's really all I watched. Listen to. Gotcha. I don't know. It was just an underwhelming release week. I did really enjoy that Brent Fias track. Very, wow. very, very good. Wow. Yes. Look I know. you enjoying a Brent Fias song. I do like Brent Fias. When have I ever said I don't like Brent Fias? You're always talking bad about me. You're always talking bad about me for like I Brent know Fias. when I don't know what you're talking about. We have the, re- like I said, it's a good thing we have this podcast now because we have the receipts. No, I think just the my only thing there. was, my only thing was just like overall. I thought his project was like, like some tracks were hit or miss, but I don't know. It's grown on me more. Um, Guap Dad track was cool. Mm. Um, Rick Ross track was pretty okay as well. The Arca project, there were like five, four, four projects. I got to kick three, and I thought that one was pretty good. I'm like, bro, I, I, I was like. I don't know. What I she's... fucking I don't know if I'm gonna do the other one. I mean, like I was planning on it, and I'm just like. I'm no, like, I, I, can got, maybe I got get to the to end two. of my, yeah, I got to my, the end of the, my release playlist and I was just like, I'm tired. I don't want to. The other thing is it's going to kind of start to blend together. Probably. I'm just like, this is too, exactly. many, this is too much music to consume in one sitting. Yeah. Oh, this, uh, this EP from Gabriel's called Bloodline. I thought it was very, very nice hmm. as well. And uh Christmas Caller by Beach Bunny. Nice. Very cool. Very cool Christmas track. Um. Nice. Yeah, also, also been going back to that one single that Beach Bunny put out, Oxygen. So good. Mm. So good. Wow. But yeah. Whoa. That's, that's mine. I haven't, I haven't gone through that much. But yes. Woo. Uh, that was long. That was an exhausting was episode. <laughs> we'll be back next week, though. We will be back next week. Season finale. Folks, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Anywhere you want to listen to us, we're probably there. The Unlands Podcast links in the description if you're on YouTube. And uh, we're on YouTube for those of you that are listening. Just look up the Unlands Podcast. We're there. That's going to be it. I'm hungry as fuck. We'll see you all next time. Peace.